Hey guys, hi, hello, how are you? How's your day going? What is up? Hey guys. Hi, how is everyone? Hi, everybody. Good to see you all here. My computer is frozen. There you go. Everything's loading. I'll behave momentarily. What's loading? My uh, my computer's loading. Oh. So, hey Kevin. Hi. Uh, so I have a mic, but I won't be able to hear anybody. You can't hear anything? Huh? Yeah. If if I use the mic, I won't be able to hear you guys. That's strange. Yeah. How'd that happen? <laughs> it's because it plugs into uh, the thing. And it like clips on my shirt, which is cool. It's the auxiliary jack. So you know how when you plug headphones in, it only plays out the headphones? Yeah. So you need an adapter? I don't know. I think you sound fine now. Who you so are. Oh, whoops. I didn't do it from. Kevin, how are you? He's a vampire tonight. <laughs> Very nice. I like vampires and all things in the car. How's that I'm doing, Kevin? Hey, okay, so now I can't hear you, but nod your head if you can hear me. Nod your head if it sounds better like this or like the other way. Okay, here, wait, wait. Nod your head up and down for yes if this mic sounds better. Or shake your head no if the other way sounds better when I don't use the mic. Holding still. Oops, where'd you go? Oh. Holding still does not help me. <laughs> That's loud. That's like okay. Nod your head up and down if this mic is better than my speaker. You don't think so? Does it sound bad? It's too loud. Does it sound bad? <laughs> <laughs> Nod your head yes if this sounds bad. It sounds like you're speaking into a microphone. So it doesn't sound bad. See, now we could go okay. through the auction <laughs> like this, but I can't hear anything. It's just complete <laughs> silence in here. Yeah, it does. Sound so bad. that would suck. <laughs> so I'm going to unplug it now, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It looks cute, though. It's fun. I want to use it. I'm just dumb. I shared Chris's artwork with you guys in Facebook. Audio? Oh, let me go look. Oh, yeah. Chris has artwork. Hey, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. yep. Hello? We can hear you. Gina, are you okay? No. no I'm here. Oh, you're not saying anything. So you don't like my new mic? Not really. You're a complainer, man. I think you sound better now, personally. I've spent $30 trying to find a freaking mic. Yeah. I am. Oh. Chris, your picture is adorable. All right. Hi, hello, how are you, Hi, hello, how are you, Hi, hello, how are you, Lisa? Hi, hello, how are you, Gina? 
Hi, hello, how are you, Christy? Hi, hello, how are you, Kevin? Hi, hello, how are you, Chris? Hi, hello, how are you, Cash? That's it. Anybody else is here? You have a headset? Hi. If you don't say hi, I can't say hi. We are going to get started. Are you ready? Okay. Cool. All right. Good grief. Maybe, maybe energy like down a notch. Just a bit. That was a lot of energy there. Um, I just have a lot of things. Look at this first. This is a pendant with the Human Soul Cross. Hey, Daisy. So it is a Human Soul Cross pendant. And this guy starts at $3. And Lucid, you have Daisy's info, right? Uh, yes. All right, Daisy, you have been blessed by the hands that are me. You are now blue, and welcome to the family. I wrench people because that tells me I have your info and you can bid. <laughs> Otherwise, I get confused. Oh, I did it. Is right. anyone interested in this team attack for us pendant for three hours? All right, we can pass it. When's Father's Day? In June. It's coming up soon, isn't it? Oh, it's not coming up soon. Okay. No, Mother's Day is coming up before that. Oh, okay. So you have Valentine's Day and then St. Patty's Day and then Mother's Day. If you celebrate St. Patrick's Day, though. Not everybody does. All right, these pearls are gritty when you rub them together, so that could possibly mean that they are real. This is a necklace and bracelet set. It's on a level four. Here is this necklace. What looks kind of like potato pearls. And this set, we're going to start at $5. Any interest in this guy? Hey, Cha Cha. And if there is no interest, we will pass it. And if it's an album, they look go. Me, Lucid, and then Gina. Is that okay? Sounds good. All righty. There you go. All right. So next up, I have um, these cute little snuggie deer socks. And they are um, different animals. And one is lamb, and the other is unicorn. And they are $2 each, your choice. Um, are those the ones that are like, have Ello or something? Uh, no, they just say fill the softness. Okay. Kind of like that really soft, owly, like, 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, and they start two dollars a piece. And then the unicorn, you have you're gonna have the little dilly madu on the head, and it's got its little eyes, and it's got little rainbows on the bottom. And then it's pink and gray. He's got a little ribbon and his little feet are marching. It's so cute. And they are brand new. Because I wouldn't sell you these socks. I don't think. And then, if there is no interest in that, my next item is a James Burke collection desk container. And it is going to be a $10 buy it now. And it's got six paper clips, three sticky note pads, four glass magnets, one wire note pad, one eraser, three binder clips, one diamond ball pin, and four ball pins. So the ball pins are just like the little tacks. There's your eraser and your four magnets, your little rose gold paper clips. Um, these are some more like spiral style paper clips. And then your little sticky pads and notepads. And then the rose gold pen has a little diamond on top. Michelle P, these are the socks are one size fits most. I assume usually it's size four to ten, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I like the rose gold. That's what I'm thinking about doing for my day. Mm -hmm. and again, this is from the James oh. Burke collection and. It says desk, desk set with diamond pin. The sticky pads like peel off, and it says important note. Do it later. Here it says oops. Magnets say stick with it and hold that side. And things like that. And Michelle wants to unicorn. Gotcha, Michelle. And so I still have three lambs left in the sock. And the desk set will be available if anyone is interested. Just let me know and I will set it aside for you and you can head on over to the store. Hey guys. So I have some um, Labradorite carvings. They are $12. Buy it now choice. $12. Buy it now choice. They are uh, lab carvings. They are, um, I'm not sure what exactly they are. They are, I don't know, maybe from the Buddhist religion. Yeah, we'll call this one number one. This one's like wider. And it has like an orangey flash to it. Wow. Let me that. Have good flash there too. Anyway, number two is more rectangular. Let's see. That's very cute. They don't send on their own, or do they? Huh? Do they send on their own? Um, no, they don't. They don't really have to lean them against something. Yeah, they're just laying flat. The back of that one has just a little bit of orange flash. And the, the flash is actually more like around here, but it's hard to show. Cool. That would be perfect for you to have on if you have an altar, perfect for that, or just on a 
shelf dedicated to religious type things or mystical. Yep. Very cool. Good orange flash. Right on the back too. One of the previous from Tina, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Like they look way better, even in person. They're pretty awesome. Thank you. Sitting Buddha. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right, I think it's a pass. We're, we're showing two items, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, the next item, um, I have this Blue Aventuring candy, $7, starting bid. Hi, Dean. Miranda, Dean said he sent his registration info. I'll look. Oh. Adorable blue adventuring candy made out of blue adventuring. That's very cute. Hmm. Dean, you are good to go. You have been blessed by the hands that are me. You are now blue. Welcome to the family. Welcome, Dean. And this is two inches by one inch. Hi, Jules. Hey, Jules. All right, looks like a pass. I have it if you're interested, just let me know. I will be showing more jewelry tonight too, cheap jewelry. Miranda. You already did too? Yeah. Yep. All right. Thank you. Hello. Hey, Jules. And anybody else that came in? Hello. So, we're going to do. We're going to do this watch. It's going to be a dollar start. It's the Charter Club watch. I don't know if it works, and it probably needs battery. And that goes for all watches I show ever, unless it is visibly ticking and working. I do not know. Did you say Carter's Club? Yep, Charter Club. That is what you want. Hey, Manji. Hey, Manji. Manji, girl, I want to say your name right. I really Hi, Manji. Hi, Alex. Alex. How you doing, bro? Anybody want to come in and one for this watch? Otherwise, we can pass it. Throw it aside. Lurking the listening. Hey, Alex. Just chilling. Just chilling. All right, let's do. Oh, my other. Where's the other one? Yay. Okay. We're gonna do this is a geo keychain. It is gold tone and it is a real stone. I don't remember what I've started them at in the past. Well, that's a really pretty thing. Um, we're gonna start them off at two dollars. 
floor of this guy here. Wow, that one's deep. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Look at the pearl inside. <laughs> yeah. What's in there? Little ball? No. There's nothing in there. Our eyes to something else. Yep. Thanks, Lana. Hi, Lana. Anybody want to come in at two? Otherwise, we can pass this one as well. That's a really good price. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> All right, we're going to pass it and we're going to go on. Tell you to. What's up? So next up, I have this um pair of two plastic beaded bracelets and one is red and translucent and this one is like a giant pearl style one and their starting bit is 50 cents you can go a quarter increment and yeah okay. good color if you like alabama um Good Valentine's Day, you know, um, outfit. My That's sister was all about wearing, you know, festive colors for Valentine's Day. It's like her favorite holiday in the world. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, I get it, I guess, but I've never just been like a huge, huge fan of Valentine's Day. I guess she just likes all the gift giving that goes on <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. Everybody being romantic for a day. <laughs> Some people like to be festive. Yeah. Okay, and if there's no interest in those, we can pass. Uh, Lana was asking, are those glass beads? No, they're plastic. Definitely plastic. And then uh, my next bracelet is it has glass beads, the strawberries are glass, and then it's got black and green beads that I guess are glass as well. They're definitely not plastic. I don't believe they're stone. And it starts at $1. Strawberry bracelet, black and green beads. And it's another stretchy one. I like those. Yeah. Strawberries, you said? How cute. Yeah, very cute. And like you can see if I can hold it still enough. Maybe. Probably not. But it's got little swirls in the um, glass of the strawberry. Gina's in for one. Oh, thank you, Gina. And we have a strawberry festival here locally. That's like the big thing for the town. And strawberries everywhere. <laughs> a lot of people like strawberries is their decor. Or mm -hmm. their too. Yep. <sighs> Is there any other interest in this bracelet? We can start. Okay, I'm going to call it Tina. Okay. Call it Tina for a dollar. 
Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And that was my two. Hello. So I have another carved pool ball. Um, this is a $22 buy it now. And it comes with a stand. And it's a real pool ball. It's the red number three ball. And someone carved a skull into it. It comes with a wooden stand. That's freaking awesome, Terry. <laughs> And so many people love the number three. Yep. Myself and Bruce. I know, right, Alex? You need one. You need <laughs> Perfect for a man cave. Exactly. And it's something you do not see every day. I've never seen one except for the other two you pulled out the other night. Yep, I have another owl on the way too. Oh, nice. These are sold. I do have another one or two coming though. I'm trying to get more. <laughs> <laughs> but I got some skulls coming too. I have an eight ball skull coming. Miranda, maybe you should take a stab at trying to carve those. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's nope, not me. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea, Lucid. Yep. Definitely a man worthy gift, if you think of it like that. But they are real pool balls. I love that sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Chris, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I know a little bit creepy. I wonder if you can still use it as a pool ball last time. <laughs> he doesn't, no, he doesn't roll very well. He gets stuck on his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hi, sugar oh, okay. <gasps> We have a new school fairy. Look, it's pool ball. <laughs> All right, I think it's a pass. Just let For me know. I really like it myself, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, look, I don't know what to show tonight. All right, I still have this Kambaba Jasper little sphere for six. Buy it now, six. Aww. <laughs> Did you hear that? Very vocal. Oh, wow. It's almost that was my Skittles. I think he wants to do it. Hi, Skittles. <laughs> He's just rubbing his chin on everything <laughs> near me. Oh. I was trying to put it before he tapped myself there and knocked things off. Maury's in for six. Awesome. It's yours, Maury. Thank you. That was a buy it now. Okay. I was trying to write it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Maury. It's all get a fault. <laughs> You're in an underwater tunnel. <laughs> oh, um, isn't that like a, a sizer? A what? A sizer, a ring sizer. What? It's, it's the one like they have the jewelry counter, right? Oh, it's, yes. It's a ring sizer, so it tells you what size ring your finger is. This is a three dollar start. Yeah. My finger. 
maybe that's supposed to be a nine instead of a six. I was like, there's no way my finger is a freaking six. And the biggest it goes up to is a 13. Loose on my finger. And my thumb. I wonder what my thumb is. Ah, well, I thought I had a big thumb. Maybe my thumb's not that big. That's getting closer. That's probably about right. My thumb is a nine. <laughs> oh, maybe that other one was a six. And the smallest that's on here is a zero. Kid size the most? <laughs> A zero, a half, and a one. Oh my gosh. I this is a this is a one. <laughs> wow. Any interest in this guy? That's the zero. <laughs> Very beautiful. All right, we'll pass it. Here. And hey Barry. I think I said hi, but honestly. My brain might have not registered. This is going to be a couple different buy it nows at different prices, and then I'll go on to Lucid. This is a necklace with rose quartz, probably faux pearl, and then some metal stuff. This is number one, and number one is $2. Number two is these earrings. These are also $2. Number three is this. Uh, Christmasy pin. This is a dollar. Number three is one dollar. Hey Nancy. Number four. Hey Nancy. Bro, you gotta let me show you this, okay? Number four are these earrings. And these are two dollars. So those that's the series. If anybody want one, two, three, or four. Hey girl. Yeah. Anna will take the ring sizer for three. Woo! You got it, Anna. Thank you. Okay. Look how big these towers are. I got huge towers. Oh my gosh. Big, big, big. You should see them in comparison to like a regular size tower. So, this is like a regular tower that you would get. Look at the size difference on there. Isn't that nuts? Crazy, right? I have bigger ones. That's what's back here. These are all huge towers. And then I got this giant. But yeah, anyway. There's so many stuff over here. Crazy balls. <laughs> <I'll> like... <laughs> I have a lot of rings. And that's that's the ring size of I get you. Alright. So I'm gonna pass on that stuff. Here we go. Lose it. What's up, guys? So next up, I have a miniature of a squirrel. And he's solid, some kind of metal, um, probably pewter, because he's got a little weight to him. And his starting bit is $1. If anybody collects miniatures or loves squirrels. He's really tiny. I have little miniature glass stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I have some um, ducks and piggies and I want to say something else, miniatures, but. 
you want that squirrel. Yay, thank you, Gina. <laughs> hey, it looks like a Monopoly piece. Uses. It looks like what? Monopoly piece. It would make a good Monopoly piece. Would you like, I'm going to be the squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it in the bag. Definitely, I'm all about having your own specialty. Who wants to be the shoe or the hat all the time? I know, right? Or the dog. Or the race car. <laughs> I think the dog was always my favorite Monopoly piece. Yeah. I think my husband's is the hat. Um, there's no other interest. I want to go ahead and call that Gina. Sounds good. Oh my god. And then next up, I have this wish necklace. It's got one of those is it dandelions, the ones that you blow and make a wish on. And it's inside of a little plastic bubble. And it might be hard to see because of the glare on the bubble. And this is a starting bit of 50 cents. You can go in quarter increments if you like. And it's just on a silver tone chain. It's got a little clasp. Is that like a dandelion inside of it? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Is that what they're called? The thing that you yeah. What's the starting bid? Fifty cents. Is Miranda typing the price? Sorry, sorry. I know. I was trying to figure out what the name of the thing oh, was. Okay. Yeah, dandelion. Oh, okay. Right. That was a bid. Okay. Yeah, I guess. I thought dandelions were the yellow thing, the flowers. I don't know. Well, before they're yellow, they're, they're like these white things that, and they like, they blow, they blow away into the, the air. Oh, okay. And then they turn into yellow flowers. All right. So, Miranda is in for the Chris, uh, Matt life of it wasn't trapped. It leaves its seeds and it goes away. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing, let it go. <laughs> I just put smash it on the ground. Like, oh turtles love them. Cool. I think I have seen turtles eating dandelions. <laughs> I wouldn't know if they're nutritious or not. Our guinea pigs used to eat dandelion greens all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. They're bitter, but they're, they're full of good nutrients. Well, I've heard of dandelion tea. What? I've heard of dandelion tea. Tea? Like dandelion yeah. tea that you actually drink. Oh, okay. tea. Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's me with the leaves. Yeah, it's pretty bitter. We tried, we tried that years ago. Not the most pleasant thing. Okay, you can go ahead and sell it to Miranda if there are no other interests. I thought um, Christine said cheese. No. <laughs> Dandelion cheese. I was like, okay. That would be interesting, but how would you make it? I don't know. <laughs> You're the one that was talking about it. <laughs> Dandelion cheese. Sure. Or uh, cows that eat dandelions comes from there. Miranda for her Thank you. And that was my two. Oh, I wasn't ready for you to say that. <laughs> my Skittles is playing hide and go seek with his other cat. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of turtles, I have two carved oh. three adventuring turtles. Your choice, and we start on that seven.
one's a little bigger than the other and darker. Oh. But they're very cute. Just put like a little, you know, couple knives on the back. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Maury. Oh, no. I just got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle song stuck in my head. No, it's from one. It's uh, seven dollars for either. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's you know, it's, yeah, it's a choice. Sorry, I said the choice. Your choice. Back here. Is my lighting okay tonight? Not too dark, right? No, it's fine. Okay. All right, if there's no other interest, we can go ahead and call some more. Okay. She can pick which one or one she wants. Okay, I'm selling to Marty for seven, so she gets first pick. Thank you, Maury. And which one or one would you like? The light one, you got it. And Daisy wants the dark one. Awesome. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you, ladies. Do you ladies mind sending me your information just so I don't have to bug Miranda? If you don't mind, it would be appreciated. Okay. Um, next, I have a silver plated lab ring. And this is an $8 start. Lab ring? Yep. And I will tell you the size. Labradorite. And it is an eight. Size eight. Eight dollars art. Silver plated. It does say nine two five on the back, but it is silver plated. And that lab does have some flash. Oh, wow. It's almost like a mid ring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my lighting. Does anybody else's cats eat cardboard? No, not cardboard. Really? That's weird. Uh, uh, 
Sherbert started with it. He's the oldest cat in the house. And the other ones try to eat boxes and uh, Skittles. If you bring a gift bag in the house, he will try to move into it and then he'll tear it apart. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. And Oz tries to kill himself all the time eating plastic. My my cat that passed away a couple of years ago was addicted to plastic. Yeah. I don't know if it's the so smell of the gums or the sound. I don't know. He, and he licked it. He would lick it first, like he liked the taste of it or something. And then if he was able to ingest it before I was able to find it. Oh, no. Get it away from him, then he would puke it up right after. Oh. It was like an obsession he couldn't help. <laughs> he was Pika. I call it Pika Cat. It's just Pika yeah. in That's different ways. Pika. Pika Cat. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I have a... I do my laundry over at my mom's because I go over there almost every day anyway. Mm -hmm. And um, I have them in trash bags before I get them into my tubs. And <laughs> Oz will come in here and just start chomping on the little ties. Ah. I'm just, and it's not like he's going to ingest the ties, really. But, I mean, I wouldn't think he'd be able to. My baby ingested many a ties. <laughs> bag ties. And <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hello. Am I in a tunnel? No. Right. No. Sorry, I'm sectioning out little uh, bags of chips for Sunday. Oh. So that I can have them, or for tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but I think I can do like a dollar for a little bag. That's pretty cool. It's like almost thirty yeah. grams, I think. Is it? Huh? How? Oh, well, I don't know how much to decipher how much it would be like, you know, bracelet, you know, size or choker necklace size. Or... I mean, I guess you can get them out. <laughs> there, these are so the little chips are going in these little bags, uh -huh. which are like that big and then I have bigger bags because I actually I've got like bigger chips which are more like small tumbles like these are hematite so those will go in bigger bags um but they're more expensive because they're bigger mm -hmm. so yeah hey Beck Mwah! I was just my brain was thinking about you and I was like I don't know where Beck is and I miss her <laughs> <laughs> it does it says haunted mansion and then his eyes are reflective. I don't know if you can tell, but they're reflective. Yeah. And my older. <laughs> okay. So if you were unaware, I have a baby Yoda available for $55. Here he is. He is a carved carving of a baby Yoda. He is the last one I have for sale. If you want him, please let me know. Uh, what kind of stone do you know? No idea. <laughs> Okay. And he's how much is that one? He's 55. Buy it now or starting bid? Uh, you can just do it buy it now because that's what I did with the rest of them. And then for my second item, I have this sterling silver pendant. It is a stone of some sort. It is black with something. You got your rhino? I'm glad you got your rhino. I'm still working on your painting. I promise I haven't forgotten. I have to paint your baby rainbow rhino. And I also have to do two paintings for Kim but I only have two canvases. So I'm struggling on how I'm going to paint three paintings when I have two canvases. And I don't wanna go and buy like a whole new pack of canvases. So I need to find my art box to see if I have a canvas in there. It's just gonna be bigger. So I'll probably give Kim the two smaller ones that way they're uniform. And then um, yours might just be on a bigger canvas. So I haven't forgotten. It's still in my brain and I will paint, I'm painting you that painting, it's happening. Uh, I gave you the rhino because I feel really bad because of how long it's taken me to paint this freaking painting for you. But it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Promise. Hey, Joyce. So this is $8. Okay. $8 for the silver plated stone pendant. And if you want that, just let me know. With that, I'm going to go to Lucid. If you guys want either one of those things, tell me in the chat. I'll write you down and I will say thank you. I'm going to get back to shoving 
chips in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, you're muted. Or maybe you're unmuted now. Oh, there she goes. Oh, I don't think that is. This oh. next item is a micro needling roller wand. And it is a $10 starting bid. And it's by Danielle Creations. It does come with a plastic case for you to store it in. It is made from stainless steel needles. Um, it's a professional quality tool and it helps to boost collagen and firm your skin. And it like increases the absorption of serums and gels and creams when it opens your skin. And like if you use it consistently, it'll cause your top skin layers to soften and the wrinkles for the wrinkles and it helps reduce the appearance of scars. And then um, it can be used on most areas of the face and body, including your lips and cheeks, as well as your chest and neck. And basically you just disinfect it with alcohol and you you know, wash your hands when you use it. And for like, it's got all kinds of instructions, of course, on how to use it. But like for better performance, you would use one to two layers of serums or gels. And you can test it on the back of your hand before you use it to kind of gauge how much pressure to use. And yeah, it's great for travel because it's got its little case or you know to keep it safe and that's all I can tell you on this little guy. Alright, uh Maury's in at 10. Is anybody else interested in this? I've seen a lot of people use these. I'm going to go ahead and call it to Maury. Okay. Thank you very much, Maury. And then my next item are in another toy. Unless I don't have the other one. But the first one is a set of two pairs of socks. The starting bid is $2. And these are Swash Socks, S O L C H. And the other ones are little kitty cats. And the cats have like fuzzy bellies. And so this one comes with a regular pair of purple, blue, and gray stripes. And the other comes with this, these funky colors and the little sloths and the hearts. That is so cute. Yeah, they are cute. I like the little belly on the cat. And he's like oh. sipping a drink in a straw. That's so cute. And then of course, sloths are always cute. Yes, my roommate has a thing for sloths, but <laughs> those sloths might be a little bit small. And it says size five through nine on the Yeah. She's kind of more of a pin. Yeah. She's tall. <laughs> oh, good. They're adorable. <laughs> yes, very. Mm -hmm. The kitty cat. I'm kind of like I'm gonna pull him apart, but he's chilling in his chair. Yeah. 
I think it's a pass, love. All right, sounds good. If I wore socks, I would love kitty cat. <laughs> oh, what happened to Gina? Oh, there she is. And thank you, Ori. Goodness gracious. There you go. All right, I have two necklaces to choose from. Dollar starting bid. Your choice. Dollar starting bid. The top one, um, I think, is vintage, and I can't determine if those are actually like black onyx or obsidian or glass. I really can't tell. But it's like a three-tiered necklace on like a thick thread with pretty glass or stone beads. And the second one is silver. And this is marked. That's the front. There's the back of the pendant. Silver tone. And the back says the jewelry studio wa and i tried looking it up and i couldn't find the only thing the closest thing i found was like a similar named company but they sold fine jewelry i don't know and then there's a high heel huh. yeah i don't know but it's kind of kind of different kind of artsy has like oh. a textured look to it yeah definitely these like leaves maybe kind of cool and then the black one has like a vintage class where it has like a hook and an extender and these are kind of like seed shaped beads again glass or stone i can't i can't verify looking for a dollar starting bid. One thumb down. Wow. Wow. Any other okay. interest? Next, I have some silver plated lab pendants, $8 starting bid, choice. $8 start, choice, two lab pendants to choose from. Silver plated. This one here has two um, obsidian pieces above it. What was the starting bid? $8, choice. Some, some good flash. Oh, wow. Like an oh. orangey flash. Silver plated. Has some weight to it. It's a big stone. Wow. And then this one here. Again, some good flash. like a design around it, just like that. And they're both good sized. They're well, just the stone is about an inch and three quarters on that one. And the one with the obsidian or onyx in it 
think it's obsidian, is two inches. Just the stone part. Very pretty, very yep. unique. have some good wash at that. Pretty well. Wow, was it the flash in the back of that one? Yeah. It's like solid orange. Wow. With the flash in the back. Wow. <laughs> All right, I think it's a pass. Thank you, guys. If you're interested, just let me know. All righty, who wants something for free? <laughs> Maybe. Well, free. You probably might not like it. Oh, listen, aren't these cute? I, I finally found the match. Now I got bumblebees on my ears. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. I have... Three. My word is escaping. Worry stones. I have three worry stones left. I have a unikite. I have a Dalmatian Jasper. <laughs> Beck said, duh. And I have a green adventure bean. I did have like 30 some of them, and all the rest of them were sold out. So these are the last three that I have, and I thought, what better way to utilize them when they would to be to give them away for free? I can't talk to you. So, we're going to play three rounds, and there'll be one winner from each round. And I am going to make you answer questions about TV. Because I'm curious. How will they do this? Let's find out. First question is What is my favorite color? I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> And you only get one guess. No one's got it yet. No one yet. <laughs> You guys suck. Hey, Beth. Hey, Beth. Is everybody else just lurking in the chat, or you just don't want to play? <laughs> Jeez. All right, I guess again. It's not black. Why does everyone think my favorite color is black? Do you guys know my favorite color? Yes. I'd have, I'd have got it. It's blue. That is, in fact, my favorite color. I know, All right, second, I know your second favorite. <laughs> I don't even know my second favorite. You just put it in the private chat. <laughs> oh. And I do really like teal. Like, teal is my favorite not primary color. <laughs> but teal is a blue-green. So it is a blue. Um, blues, technically. So, Ida, do you want Unikite, Dalmatian Jasper, or Green Adventurine? And I'll put your name on it, babes. Yellow is a very pretty color. I think black's my second favorite, isn't it? Or is it yellow? I like a lot of colors. I don't like red. I'm, I'm not a big fan of red. You raved about <laughs> yellow one time. I thought it was definitely one of your faves. Green's weird. I My favorite colors are blue, black, and yellow. Blue's number one, and I'm not really sure what that is. My husband told me the answer. <laughs> 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 she looks like a blue kind of girl. Definitely not pink. 
I'll eat coffee. I'll have coffee. <laughs> you okay? We'll call that one number one. Number two is Dalmatian. And number three is Green Adventuring. You guys like my music? It's my theme song. <laughs> Number one, Unicate. You got it. Let me write your name on here. All right, second question. This one is a yes or no question. Do I have a college degree? <clears throat> no problem. Congrats, Ida. Barry got it. The answer is yes. Damn, back. What do you mean, no? That hurts my heart. Technically, I have. I think I, I either have two or three college degrees. I honestly can't remember. I know I have at least two. And then I have like three certificates and a diploma. Or is it two certificates and a diploma? I have a lot of schooling. Hi. <laughs> That is correct. I did say I have college debt because I do. <laughs> All right, fairy, you win, babes. What do you want? You want Dalmatian or do you want the green adventuring? You're not old enough. I'm 25. I only took a year off of school. I don't have, I have the equivalent to a bachelor's degree, but I don't have a bachelor's degree. I have two associates. So it's not. Nicole. Hey, Brandon. She said Dalmatian, please. You got it. Miss Fairy. Your name's on it, which means it's going in your bin. All right. That means there's one left. One last question. I don't know what I'm going to ask you. Um, This will be a weird one because you're only going to know this if you've actually paid attention to me when I speak. Are my parents married? Yes or no? no. Brandon, the only reason I have that is because my mom wanted to go on cruises and I couldn't afford it because I was in school. So... I took out extra loans because the government paid for my schooling. I took out extra loans so I could go on vacation. My parents are not together. That is correct. Maury, you win. Congratulations, girlfriend. They are, in fact, not together. And they never were married. So they didn't, I'm not like a divorced child. They split when I was like two or three. And then my mom got with my stepdad soon after that. So they all went to school together. So my mom's on my stuff that's like ever and then I've known these secrets for a So I kind of just have to be dead. We're just cool. They're both very, very nice to I like them a lot. <laughs> it's cool, guys. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thank you, guys. I enjoyed playing this game with you. It's interesting to see who, like, who really knows. It's crazy. Beck, I expect a better thing you. You've been around for a long time. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. So, I have a four little elephants here. I'm still so long that you can see what I'm going to do. You have a little bit of time. Well, I was going to ask you my favorite brand, but I figured I don't know what I'm going to do. So, you're underwater. Yeah, you're underwater. Great. Right. Oh, that was funny. Back. <laughs> Me too. I watch you every damn day. <laughs> That's okay. It's fine. So, 
These are $10 a piece. It's just to buy it now. And I'm going to number them for you. These are all carved stone elephants. Number one is Undyed Howlite. Number two is Green Adventurine, which I thought more people would like. I think it's beautiful. Number three is... Oh, I'm torn. It, it reminds me of Crazy Lace, but it also reminds me of Leopard Jasper. So you pick. You get to decide. That was number three. And then number four, I think, is like an amethyst. But it looks weird, and there's a hole in his leg. We're going to make him $6 because he little, he little, he needs some help. So number four is going to be $6. All the other ones are 10 because he needs some tender love and care, man. You want one and three. Thank you, Manji. One and Manji. Man, I want to say your name right. It's driving me nuts. Am I doing it right? Manji. Yes or no to that one. All right, Maury, the only one I have left is the Green Adventure Green. Do you want that one or negative? And we'll get... I need you to say yes or no. Thank you, Maury. Is it Mon? Man. Mon. Girl, help me out. <laughs> I want to know. Thank you. I think Maury tried to help me with it. And I just can't get it. I'm going to call you Manji. And if that's wrong, eventually someone will correct me. If anyone wants the green adventuring elephant, that is the only one I have left. You can tell yourself it's Jade if you want to, but it is, in fact, Green Adventurine. If you want it, let me know. Manji, it is Manji. Or it's Man... Manji. Manji. We'll get it. All right, Lisa, it's your turn. All right. Where's she? Oh, yeah, that's... There you go. Okay, I'm trying to make these so they're, like, easier to see. Um, but this is going to be a lot, and it's $8. Buy it now. And this is a blue stone bracelet. It looks kind of like sodalite, but I'm not exactly sure of the stone. I'll try to back it on out in a second. And the um, this bead here has, like, arrows and squiggly lines. Like, it's some kind of hieroglyphic or something. And little metal beads are set in between. And these, I'm not sure exactly what they are made of. I'm thinking some sort of shell. But it could possibly be, like, bone. I'm not 100% sure. They are lacquered over, and they have, like, a gold squiggle with a blue dot inside. And so these, they hang their dangle earrings. And, like, you can see they kind of look like gills or fins around the edging. Or maybe you can't see. Let's see. There you go. And they've kind of got that Egyptian style to them. And then here's the bracelet. And, yeah. So, these are one of my favorite pairs of earrings. I just don't wear jewelry enough to hang on to them. Well, I can just close the screen back over. I can't do much about my light being too bright. I have one setting for my light. So I do apologize. 
to offset for the light being so bright, it'll help it focus if you put your hand behind it sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. That's what I have to do. And that might help a little. And then it kind of lets it focus, but. Yeah, much better. Those are pretty. Wow. Well, and then there's the back side. Is that a blue stone inside them? I think that is like um, something that's applied. I don't think it's a stone. Oh, just the decoration? Yeah. That is cool. Pretty set for someone who likes blue. Very. Yeah, Miranda, no I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and there appears to be no interest in those, so I can go ahead and go on to my next item. And these are three dollars starting bid, and it's choice of. And so I have this gold tone elephant brooch and he does have a marking on the back. I just can't quite make it out. Um, I by no means think that it's real gold. He's just gold tone. And he does not want to focus very well, but he's really pretty. The way they like did his eyes with the metalwork, it look almost like stones. And he's got pretty big ears. And then the other one is this cabochon. And it does have some wear to the background, as you can see. And a little bit of discoloration to the gold tone on the metal. But it is a pretty awesome piece. Um, and the back's exposed like that. It's a nice gold metal mesh. And here is the elephant again. And his marking is right there under or in between his tusks under his trunk. And I don't know. Yeah, I just cannot make that out. And I haven't found my loop yet. I let my dad borrow it. So it's kind of lost in the abyss right now. Anybody interested in these brushes? Choice, Austin Elephant or Cameo. Gold tone and beautiful. All right, we can go ahead and pass if there's no interest. Okay. Thank you. All right, I have some mini, little mini kitty cat pendant stone. They're $3. Buy it now, your choice. We have some rose quartz and some green adventuring. Little mini kitty cats. What was the starting bid? They're $3. Buy it now. Oh, okay. Yep, your choice. Five to choose from. Three are rose quartz and two are green adventuring. And they are about three quarters of an inch long. They're very cute. Those are adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't think you would like these. Because <laughs> you're not a. I'm not getting a cat. Stop. <laughs> if this is a cat she saw in my future.
still have good smelly Germex, but I hate it because I put it on an alley finder right away. Hmm? I like good smelly Germex, but I hate putting it on and then it's just instant alley finder. Germex? Yeah. What's Cut the water. Like hand sanitizer. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Um, you want a pink one? You got it. Thank you. I just used some great smelly stuff, so smells good, but hurts. <laughs> Dry hands, wonderful thing. Thank you, Daisy. Anyone else want any little kitty cats? All right, well, let me know if you want one. Thank you, Daisy. All right, next I have some stone necklaces to choose from. Stone necklaces, it's going to be your choice, and it's going to be a starting bid of $3. The top one is a mixture. It's tripled, tripled over. There's no clasp. It is clear quartz, put some milky quartz in there, some carnelian. The second one is this pretty multi-tiered one. It's like asymmetrical. Wow. It has like a bronze tone chain and it's asymmetrical in how it sits. There's like a chain on this side here where it's like weave through and then it has some little stone chips on it, stone beads, some what look like, uh, like glass square beads. It's pretty dinky. There's a stone. Stones there. It's a nice combination of all different colors. So that's the second one. And the third one has what I believe are agates. It's on a brown cord. It does not look like leather, it's like a cord. And it has a toggle clasp and it has a heart dangling. And there's no marking on it that I can see. And then it's tied with agates. And also little heart charms are dangling under, yeah. under some of the agates. That's cute. Yeah, those little hearts dangling all the way down. It skips these ones, it goes back to these ones. Very boho. Yep, very boho. That's the third one. Here's the second one. You want to see how that sits? I can sort of get that out of the way. Very boho as well. And then the first one is just a nice long chip necklace. Great for harvesting. You could wrap it around your wrist many times. That would look cool.
All right, I think it's a pass. Thank you guys. That was me too. Miranda. Sorry, my cousin called me. It's okay. Hello. Hello. Um, we're having an auction, right? It's <laughs> I'm just back here putting rocks in bags as, you know, that doesn't sound like bad or illegal at all. Um, <laughs> it's just so much easier to show stones. They're right next to me. I know, right? All right, I've got this. Technically stones, but it's also a belt, I think. Either that or it's a stone scarf. <laughs> so, um, this is a $10 start. It's very long. I will tell you how long it is. And it's got all different kinds of stones on here. And then it also has some shell. And there's like some carved birds on here as well. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty uh pretty neat. Is that a, is that a fish? So we've got some carved little horses on here too. Got some carved horses. Is it a necklace or just a strand? Uh it's like a long string, so I think it's either a belt or like a scarf. Let me get some more birds. So it's got carved birds and horses on it. And then this side has like two things, and this one just has one. But there's like, I don't really know, but it's really long. So like this is it around my neck. I'm ready to go. <laughs> it's so long. Let me tell you how long it is. Oh my goodness. Don't rip my necklace off or my hair. It's also really heavy. Mandy's in a ten. It is super colorful. It's really pretty. It's wicked awesome. All right, we will measure it like this, and then times it by four. That might be the easiest way here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 14 times four. So how long, long it is. Let's see here, 14 times four. It's about 56 inches long. Oh, it's got bell buckles. Oh, those are fun. I could do those. <laughs> I don't even know what I have. All right, Mandy's in a 10. Anybody, Anybody else interested in this beautiful, colorful, masterpiece of a thing. I don't know how heavy it is, but it's cool. And as a crafter, you can tear that sucker apart and use it and make all kinds of stuff. Don't tear it apart. Wear it. It's beautiful. I see beauty in the little bits of it. <laughs> it's hard to wear it. Oh, it's a manji, 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 oh. manji, jumanji. Can I call you jumanji? Does anyone do that? Ow, 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 ow. Well, you got some of my hair on there now. Sorry about that. <laughs> Any XL pants for ladies? Probably, but I got to double check that bin because my cat puked in it. And I got to clean, uh, clean it. <laughs> so I'll get back to you on that one. Oh, come on, for 10. Thank you. 
cute giraffes or something on it. No, there's little horses and there was birds. Birdie horses. Now, I feel bad. I should have shown these why Linda was in here because she loves stuff. Also, I didn't test it for silver, but it's probably gone. Okay. Well. Yeah, yeah. I had a I had a big bit of pants and my cat puked on it. So Yeah. I don't worry, I got more clothes with the you know, I just have to go get some. <laughs> So this is a belt buckle. It is silver tone. It is a bowl with a cowboy on it. It's got some flowers. This guy's a two dollar star. Four belt buckles. Yeah, my cat's never done anything like that before. He's what never start. Two dollars. <laughs> no pants, I love you. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Oh, you woke up from your nap and back to cleaning yourself, yes? <laughs> now you're laying down again. Is there something wrong with you? Because I feel like you're being weird. You know how you can just like tell if your pet's being weird? Well, I think my cat's being weird. But I don't know how to tell. Are you being weird? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you just sleeping right now? Are you still on the printer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> well, you're playing. Do I need to play with you more? Are you depressed? Are you depressed? Have my hair back. Hey, Robin. Oh, he, just, he just has my hair now. Oh. I have it. Don't lick it. Give me my. Give me my hair. <laughs> well, he was playing. Okay. Hello, Robin. Hopefully, they didn't hurt your ears. Is it a pass on this? Can I get natural golden ball port? I have golden healer, but if you're talking about citrine, um, getting actual real citrine is almost impossible because a lot of places eat sweet amethyst, turn it yellow, and then say it's citrine. It is definitely easier to tell. Amber, <laughs> she's not holding a gun. <laughs> He's holding a broom and she yeah. sweeps. Anyways, <laughs> he treated amethyst as a darker yellow, so it's easier to spot a uh, fake citrine that way. But for me, it's hard to tell citrine and like different stuff like that. So, you know, citrine's a gray area for me. I do have little balls with it, but I don't know if it's real or not. So, I do have. Citrine and these little spears. My little citrine spears. And I do have oh, golden yeah. healer. I have three golden healer sizes. We're gonna pass on this on this and I'm just gonna show her these. Yeah. So these are the three sizes for the balls that I have. So I do have golden healer. Um, the smallest one is 12, and then the one next to it is, so it goes 12, 16, is that one 16? Or I saw the 16. Thank you, they are bumblebees. They sting. I'm not used to wearing all these rings on my hair, and I keep pulling it out. It's driving me insane. So the small one's 12. This one's 18, and this big one is, um, this big one is 13. So 12, 18, and 13. There you go. And if you want to see them up close better, just let me know. I also have huge golden healer, um, flames. Those are over two pounds. 
each, I think, and those are only 75, so those aren't too bad. I don't know how big it is, but I can still go over in another day. It's okay. I'm stuck on my earring. Monty says the 30 bucks is sold. The big one? You got yep. it. Thanks, love. And it's not my, it's lucid. Lucid. Robin, what are you up to? What are you doing? And thank you, Monty. Oh, am I out of stickers? Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Oh, you're muted. <laughs> my next item up for bid is um, scented hand cream, starting bid $8. It is by Tuscan Hills, and each little tube is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. It has the cherry blossom scent, vanilla almond, French lavender, olive harvest, coconut, and English rose. And it's basically like a perfume lotion, scented hand cream, kind of the same thing. And eight dollars. Okay, oh, yeah, purse starts eight dollars. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> um, and then, Manji, I'll show you as soon as it's my turn again. They're hidden behind the big towers. And it uh, it expires next year, so it was just made in 2020. It expires in 2022. Um, you're not supposed to eat it or swallow it or put it in your eyes. You got to keep it away from children and it's cruelty free. So they did not test it on animals, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, it's got a lot of good scents and it's some decent quality stuff. <laughs> and the Tuscan inspired collection. It's perfect for a gift, which gift giving is coming up again. Yes. Hey, OP Treasure Hunter. Hello. I know, Chris. Um, I mean, no, I guess you really can't eat it. It wouldn't taste the same as the sound. Hey, Misha. Hey, Tata. This is by um, Bag, and there it's like an anagram for Best Accessory Group. And oh. their website is mybeautyspot.com. So essentially you're getting like six tubes of lotion for eight bucks, which isn't a bad deal. It's eight dollars. Eight dollars is the start. Any interest at all in the lotion? We've got six courses and ten. Put it in the car, put it in your purse. Just don't put it in your mouth or your eyes. Yeah, that would burn probably. Because a lot of those have alcohol too. <laughs> Alrighty. If there's no interest 
And that I can pass on to my next item, which are these awesome string lights. They do require three AA batteries, which are not included. And again, their starting bid is $8. They are LED. They do not, um, you know, get hot, which is nice. They have a little tester thing on the side to turn them on and off as of right now. And they're for indoor use only. And these are by Starcrafts. So if you've ever wanted your own set of string LED lights, here you go. Perfect for you to, well, I wonder how big the battery compartment is on that. It's like a, it's a, like a little square, like the usual ones, I'm sure. Yeah. Hey, if you could fit that at the top of a bottle, just put all of those LEDs inside the bottle and have a cherry bottle. Oh yeah, they're good for lots of things. Um, glass is one of them. Like people like to put them in there. Chakra thing looks good behind the the uh, the blanket on the wall. Which yeah, it really would. Mhm. Mm I have um Christmas lights up right now, and they have these little old housings that I crafted onto them, but they are not sitting on the strand of lights. If there's no interest, we can pass. You can just let me know in the chat if you change your mind. And thank you very much. All right, I have some towers. It's gonna be five now, your choice, $16. We have some green adventuring and we have some natural hall light. Wow. They're good sized towers. $16. Buy it now, your choice. Now, one of the hall lights is just a tad wobbly when it stands. They're both a little, a little bit wobbly. It's like their base has like kind of like a bit of a rounding to it. But mm -hmm. they stand fine. They're just on the wobbly side. But once they're standing, they're standing. So I'll, I guess I'll show the hollow light first. I'll show you them all around. So we'll call this one number one. Hi, hey, Crystal. Here's number two. Wow, that was cool. So pretty. Number three. Those are not cracks, so they're just naturally part of the stone and it's smooth. And number four. And I can tell you their height. Good night, Tasha. Later, Tasha. Good night, Tasha. The green adventurines are roughly almost three and a half inches tall, and the hollow lights are approximately the same, just under three, three and a half inches tall. Good size towers.
It was really pretty together. Okay, and I thought I saw some quartz inside one of these halloids. Yes. This little spot here is like some quartz in there. Oh. Yep. And on the other one, there's like a little band of quartz sort of like running through the top. Really hard to show. Me too, Lucid. It's so classy. All right, I think it's a pass. Let me know if you're interested. I'll set those aside. And next I have a rose quartz necklace. And this is a $6 start. And it has a deer carved into it. And I do believe this is vintage. It has a brown leather cord. It's quite long. And it ties, so you can adjust it. And it has basically, basically like a worry stone size rose quartz pendant. Put it here. Carved into there and looks like you can it over. Yeah, and then just two like acrylic beads are at the top. That's how big it is. Very thoughtful again. Yeah. I love the deer. I think it's so cute. Oh, yes, Chris. Countertops made of halolite. That would be beautiful. It does, those look very similar to marble. Yep. Sorry, I'm eating breakfast. Did I miss anything? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. okay. What'd you say? Did I miss anything? I'm eating a pretzel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the heads up. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, I think it's a pass. Is that your two? Yep. Thanks, guys. Hi. <laughs> Hello. What's up? So, Manji, Manji, oh, good board. I'm not eating a pencil, I'm eating pretzels. <laughs> I like the pretzel chips. So, Angie, I do need you to send me your info. Um, I looked through my email and I did not see it. I don't know if you saw my message in the chat. Just let me know when you sent it. That way I have it and I can confirm it. And here are the two different flames that I have. They're both $75. One is a slightly bigger and a little bit heavier than the other one. So this is number one. And this one's darker and it's shorter at the base. This is one pound fourteen one pound. Yeah, it's well. And the second one is lighter and it's 
one pound, 15 ounces, I think. So number one was one pound, 14 ounces. And number two is one pound, almost 16 ounces, which is, would be like two pounds. So I think it's almost, it's almost done. You sent it to, okay, I'll check that one. I, I checked my other one. Okay, I'll double check it then. I probably have it. This is number two. It is wider at the top and it is a couple ounces bigger. This is volume filler. A paler color. Here they are compared to each other. I'm hard to like manhandle. All right, I gotta take these rings off, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to manhandle these stones. All right, come here, babe. There's number one and number two. Good grief. Ow! Mom, do you send the darker one, please? No, number one. Who farted? Did you fart or did you just poop yourself? Woo! Pew pewy. That was nasty. Here, eat a eat a press. Maybe that'll make the poop not smell bad. Okay, okay. Did you poop yourself? None of that smells horrible. So you want uh, this one, number one, this is the darker one. And then do you are you asking for uh and then if anyone else wants the other one I have, it is $75. It is this. And the way we're set up right now isn't the best control the stone, but yeah. They've got lots of reflective bits and stuff in here, so. They are gorgeous. And here's a size comparison next to the, the towers. That helps. So she'll let me do that. I'll put her name down for this. All right, I'm gonna show this bracelet for my second thing. Thank you, Monty. Let me know if you're putting this here back, okay? So I've got this top bracelet here. It is silver tone. It's got black tone on the side, a little bit of the side. And this guy's $18. It is not sterling silver. I did test it, so it was very good. It is not. But, here's what it looks like to do with it. Did you say 18? Yep. And it's just a buy it now. Oh, okay. It's got lots of marker sites up there. Some people kind of think it looks like a centipede. I think it looks cool. It's the Kraken. <laughs> so those are all little marker sites up there. Very gothic and cute. Yes, it's very beautiful. So if anyone wants that, let me know. And then Manji, Manji, good Lord, Manji. Manji, make sure you tell me whether you want that sphere or not, okay? Because I don't want to charge you for it if you don't want it. If anyone wants this bracelet, let me know. Just put it down there. And Baby Yoda wants to say hello. 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 <laughs> That's not gonna give you bad dreams. Jeez. Don't be sensitive, Buck. Okay, nice. That's it for me. Life saves you, Tim. Hey again, Mike. Hey guys. Um, so up next for bid, I have this pair of genuine leather memory foam 
for added comfort, secret treasure moccasins, um, starting bid six dollars. They're size nine slash ten, and they have grip bottoms. So they're good for going outside. If you're like me, I ruin all my slippers outside of the house by walking in the yard. Um, but these have nice little grips on the bottom. I would probably wear these outside of the house just because of slippers are comfortable and I like moccasins. And they're very soft and fuzzy on the inside. And the memory foam thing is always a good, you know, added benefit. Thank you, Beck. And they're the nice, you know, normal moccasin colors, brown. And uh, I wonder what is the material of the inside part. It feels super soft, but it's got to be like man-made fur because it's too soft. It's just too soft to be real. And they're brand new. Is there any other interest? I'm going to start following it to Beck if nobody else is interested. Right. I'm selling this to Beck for six. Thank you very much, Beck. I appreciate it. And next up, I have this silver tone bracelet. And it's kind of like unisex it could be for a guy or a girl and it is a one dollar start and it's got like a clasp similar to that of a watch it kind of opens up like that a little clamper clasp And if you prefer the other texture, you can turn it around. So it's kind of like a two-sided deal and show the other side. I did send it one. Thank you for your bid, Ida.
Thank you, Ida. Okay. And that was my two. Thank you, ma'am. All right, I have this um stone bracelet, stone and glass bracelet with sterling silver clasp, and it's a five dollar start. It is marked 925, like um, way in there. And I tested it and it is verified. And the stones are really good. Five, five dollars start. Yeah. All right, Barry. I think these are stone. Now I'm second guessing. They might be a glass, actually. They're really pretty beads. Uh, browns, blacks, creams, nice warm colors. But that one's definitely glass. I thought these were stones, but I think these are glass. Yeah, yeah, it's not stone. Glass. And again, 925 class. Test of verified sterling. Really nicely made, too. Nice and clean. <clears throat> I think it's a pass. All right. Next, I have some necklaces. Um, starting bid three dollars, your choice. Starting bid three dollars, your choice. The top one is all stone. It is doubled over. It does not have a clasp. There's some really nice agate and glass beads. There's like a, they're like, the agates are like a kind of like a peachy color. And they are these ones and these ones. And then they're separated by these faceted glass beads and also some circular glass beads. <laughs> and the second one is a what I believe is vintage because it was in a vintage lot um, teal Acrylic necklace. Silver tone, lobster clasp. There's a little heart dangling. The extender. And it has that, <clears throat> that like classic, like minty green, minty teal color to it. Let's look back.
Well, thank you, Terry. Miranda, you have Terry's information? Lucid does. Lucid does? Yeah. Yes. I know Terry very well. All right, Terry, you've been blessed by the hands that are me. You are now blue. Welcome to the family. And if there's no other interest, I'm going to go ahead and call this Terry. Awesome. <laughs> Mandy, <laughs> I am done for today. <laughs> I'm going to sell it to Terry, so please relax. last chance. Yeah, I said both. <laughs> and you know, did you get my message in the private chat? No, I didn't. My ears hurt now. Um, it was one of the things you had like two or three necklaces that were passed. Okay, I'll figure that out. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was Sorry, I don't always look there. <laughs> It's okay. Carnelian and some white shit. It's oh, yes. Thing. The carnelian? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Terry, which one or ones were you interested in? Terry wants both. You want both? Yep. Which one? Thank you. I'm too quiet. I know. I'm sorry. Huh? I said I'm too quiet. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Actually, Who's Gabe Weir? What? Um, Should we give it to Gina again? Christy, yeah. Christy is Gina. the one talking. Gina is the one on the screen. And my name is Miranda. This is my channel. <laughs> that's oh, what okay. Is. Yeah. And Lucid's here, too. I'm the one that's never seen. I'm just in that. And a voice. Lucid. What are you doing? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I'm in a weird what? mood. Today. What? What? What are you doing? <laughs> I take some orders as they order it. What are you doing? Ow. Oh. It hurts. I'm trying to figure out who this dude is. Where, where are you seeing the dude? Oh no, these earrings are marked Gay Boyer. Hmm? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm figuring it out. Gay Boy. Oh, no. Yeah. Boyer, New York, formerly Gay Boyer, is known in the industry of having the best faux pearls and plated clip earrings made in the USA. So it's Boyer, New York, formerly known as Gay Boyer. Christy, you want these ones? Yes. Right? Okay. Yes, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> cool. That was my two. Clip off. That's why you need to get. Hello. These don't exist. Maybe they were accustomed to these. Great. Cool. Cool potatoes. So I got a pair of gay boyer clip on earrings. They are mumble bees. They are bzz, 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 bees. Bzz, bees. Bees. It's a weird word. Bees. Um, it's a ten dollar start. Uh how do you spell the name again? It's gay. As in gay. Okay. And then Boyer, which is boy and then ER. Okay. And they'll start, right? Yep. I can let them go for 10 bucks. All right. I can't let them go for anything less than that because I really like them. They are very cute. I'm trying to find. Price comparisons, but I can't find these earrings. 
They're marked in two places um, as well. They are marked on the back of the clip-on here. And they are also marked on the wing. Oh, those are the ones you had on? Yeah. That's cute. They are, they are. Hey, Amy. Oh, hey, Amy. Hello, beautiful friend. Did you finish your artwork? And if you did, I want to know what you, I want to see it. <sighs> um, I'll try to get some colored pencils or something for myself to be able to do things to <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Oh well, these these those ones are going for a hundred dollars. Huh? What? Did you test them or anything? Or those have pink enamel. Mine just look like regular bumblebees. Oh, I'd like to see the necklace. Huh? Amy made a necklace. Oh, here's the knees. They're so cute. Well, this item is gold. What is that for? That's great. Why doesn't it tell me what it's sold for? Etsy's stupid. Well, they sold. I didn't look up prices. I just looked up the name. And these ones sold too. Well, both the pairs that were on here sold. And these ones I know were listed at like a hundred. What did I just knock down? I knocked it over. You just asked me who Gay Boyd was, so I told you. Well, these are, is, does anybody want them or am I keeping them? Am I keeping? Why do you have so many rings on? Um, because I'm fancy. These are my nails. My nails. Well, okay, I'm keeping them. All right, Lucy, it's your turn. Hey, um, <laughs> next up, I have this rose gold, like, um, pin holder slash scissors slash whatever you want to put in there it's by mh studio it has like a granite look to it but that is ceramic and it has a little foam base on it are you talking because i can't hear you i don't know i'm hearing things coming through anyway this is a ten dollar buy it now rose gold beautiful pin Holder by M8 Studio. And my dog is trying to bait me outside right now and it's really cold. Is it basically a candle holder? No, it's for your desk. It's a um like pen holder and stuff, pencil holder? Yeah, it says it's a pencil cup very contemporary okay. oh and also for ten dollars while we're at it, just, you know, it can be a choice, um, was the desk organizer with the tacks and the paper clips and the pen and the notepad and the sticky notes and the eraser and the magnets. 
No, definitely not for paper clips. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I agree. I won't be sad if I'm stuck with it. Back. <laughs> All right. And if there is no interest in the pencil cup, again by MH Studio, let me know if you change your mind. I have a choice of, and these are eyeshadow palettes yesterday. I had the eyeshadow and cheek palette. This is just eyeshadow palette. This first one is called Velvet Nudes, and it is 24 Shimmer and Matte Colors by Beauty Treats. And let's see. They're designed in California and made in PRC. So I don't know if that's like something Republic of China or what, but they have a Los Angeles address. Um, and it creates gorgeous look for everyday wear. And it's good until 2026. Oh, did I tell you that starting, starting bids of $10. And then the other one, so that's the Velvet Nudes by Beauty Treats. And the other one is by the Beauty Exposed Collection, Giordano Colors. And it's the Lux Collection. And these are both brand new. That's still sealed in the plastic as well as the mirror. And it's got a mixture of matte and shimmery colors. But they're like um, earth tones, you know. So you've got these two different ones to choose from. I just found cicada earring. Ooh, that sounds nice. <laughs> I was looking up the bee earrings. <laughs> yeah, these are some nice, cool, like, earth tones. And then this is, like, I don't know. Weird. I've seen them in fancy makeup people stuff, but I don't quite understand why they do them with the little different colors in there. I don't know. Hey, Anna. Um, it's okay. It's starting to get in Hey, Kim. Hey, Kim. Beck's in for 10. So far, she's the only one, yes. Yeah. Is there any other interest in these palettes? Only 10 bucks. Hey, Kim. Hey, Anna. Hey, girl. Hey, Lucas. <laughs> Selling it to Beck and Beck, just type pink or green, whichever one you would like. All right. Um, selling it to Beck. Last call, last chance. Bo, right, so you got it. Thank you, ma'am. Well, you kind of need both because one will have some colors, but not all colors. And that one's like more red. And I know. And I'm very jealous that you get to play with these. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy them. And those were my two. Oh, hang on. I got a bunch of ooh, stones in my Okay. Go, All right. I have some necklaces. Dollar starting bid, your choice. Two to choose from. Dollar hey, Kim. Starting. I already said hi, but in case you didn't hear me. Ha ha. Yeah. Hi, Kim. <laughs> so the first one here is multi tiered. Chains, 
Oh, wow. So we have like some pretty ornate balls with rhinestones all around them at the top gold right there and then we have some different chains of different sizes and we have some black like a black that, material here weaving through that like suede or something mixed with those chains is it what mixed with that is it like suede or something mixed in with chain or velvet um it's actually it's like a black meshy looking material oh okay yeah, I'm not sure. It's uh very messy looking. It looks really good with the you know with everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, not suede. So yeah, it's black, black material. Mm -hmm. And the extender locks the clasp. That's the first one. And the second one again, gold tone. And on the one side. Lots of class and what are these? Uh, like sand dollars? Oh, yeah. That's cool. So it's just got those all the way down it. Statement. Sorry, little rose quartz are all over my floor now. <laughs> oh no. But that's good for calming, so I'll, I'll be really calm, right? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, the sea of rose quartz. <laughs> Dude, Kim, you should see the humongous towers I have now. They're freaking giant. Really excited about them. Huge. So yeah, huge. Look at that, like the size of my forearm. Gina's showing some necklaces. Dollar Star, anybody want to come in at a Dwala? Looking for a da 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 all right, I think it's a pass. Boo! <laughs> I need boo the crowd. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know I'm not like that. We've been on for two and a half hours. That flew by. Right, Kim? You're, you're especially your grandson. He seems to really like stones, which is awesome. Stones are beautiful, and they do so many wonderful things for you. Did you say that was your two? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I was like, that seems <laughs> awfully quick. And then I'm going to show these uh, flower agate stars. These are six dollars. Your choice. And one has a window boozy. Really cool. <laughs> Kim. <laughs> well, damn. Call them over again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kind of. I'm half kidding. Because I still do need to sell these big towers. Did you really? Pam, tell me that's not true. What do you mean you had no idea? Well, now I feel bad. You should have told me. And I would have would've been like, oh, okay. Freaking kid. Communication, girl. You should have told me. Oh, hi, Matt. You're back. This one has the window jersey right there. It's smooth. You can see the jersey through it. And if you didn't know what a window jersey is, it's a jersey, but it's covered. It protects it from the rain. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Oh, thanks, Chris. Cool. Well, I hope they got them and, and they still uh, and they still love them. 
You know how kids can be, they buy something and then they get it and they're like, I'm over it. <laughs> Chris, which one would you like? Thank you. And did you get your uh, adorable monster carving yet in the mail? Yeah, Chris, did you get your monster? <laughs> I think he was cute. Oh, nice. Well, I hope they love it. We're waiting for Chris to tell you what he wants. What do you want? Aw. Oh. I don't know where you are. Can I get the window? Juicy one, and please fill me and send it to Christy. Oh, I second her. Thank you. You're gonna have a big collection before you know it, Christy. I didn't think I was actually saying anything out loud, but I did love the one with Bruce. <laughs> Aw. Aw. Which one did they get for you, Kim? I know you got like a tree agate thing. You got like a tree one for you, I'm pretty sure. And that was your two, right, Gina? Thank you, Chris. Very sweet. That was crazy. That happens sometimes. Hi. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. All right. So I don't, I'm not showing really anything to sell. I just want to show Kim these towers because they're huge. <laughs> we'll start small. Okay. Do you have any more of those other things? This is a regular size tower. This is the clear quartz tower I have. <laughs> it's huge. That's a bad comparison because it looks hard to see. I need like a dark one. There we go. There. So there's the clear quartz one I have. And then I've got this rose quartz one. They get bigger. And then I got this rose quartz one. This kiwi. I was just dab my over. Styles and I, Jasper. Oh my god, they get bigger. Ugh. This we think is picture Jasper, but we're not sure. It's an arm workout, man. I'm gonna break my spine. This is a leopard skin, Jasper. And the last one is the biggest one. This is green adventure. Oh. This is the normal size tower. <laughs> They're huge, right? They're really not even that expensive. This is the most expensive one. I think the other ones are under 80. Oh, they get bigger. 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 Oh, they get Tunnel, You're in a tunnel. And I have Baby Yoda. Yeah. All right. I also have Kung Fu Panda, but I hate one. Um, the big question was the small the 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 what do you mean Gina's left the building? Where'd Gina go? Oh, I'm still here. She is here. I just stabbed my leg and it did me not feel good. Um, uh, let's, let's show this fault box. I didn't test it for silver, so I'm really not sure. Um, it's red, white, and blue. And by that, I mean it's silver color, red, and blue. 
and it has a star on it and some other things. And this one's a five dollar star. Couldn't hear me for which one. So this is a belt buckle. My face is itchy. Oh, I sent you the link, Miranda, to the beef I found. You probably yes. saw it already. The clip-on bee earring. Oh. Did they sell for a hundred bucks? One oh nine. Damn. But they were colored different than these that you have. But it's just enamel. Mm -hmm. That's it five dollars. Like I need my uh, me to build book on my life. <laughs> hey Ed. There's no other interest. Call to Ed. And then Ed, I don't know if you saw this one earlier, but I also have this belt buckle. Do you remember? Was this one two or three dollars? Three. I think. So if you want this one as well, Ed, this one's three. And I got you down for the other one, irregardless. I got you. So to Ed, bye. It. <laughs> oh, and if you want the other one for free, you, you gotta tell me like yes. You gotta be definitive. I can't guess. That's rude. Because what if I guess yes, but your answer is no, and then now I've charged you three dollars, and you're like, what the? F I didn't want it. But communication. All right, that's it for me, Lucid. I gotta go to the eye doctor. I don't want to. Hey, what's up? Uh, next up, I have this clamber bracelet, purple, starting for one dollar. Purple is a great color. Yes. Silver shadows on some You're welcome, Laura. Yes, purple is the best color. It makes me happy. You know, it sucks when you have no grip and you need like a bottle opener and you don't pop on When what? When you have no grip and trying to open things, you have no grip. Oh, yeah. You need a bottle opener and you just don't have one. <laughs> Some of the carbonated stuff is like, oh my gosh, I'm so tight. Then you hand it to somebody and they open it this one turn. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> All right, and if there's no interest in that, I also have this, um, and it's just a piece of plastic. It like mimics stone, but it's on this really awesome um, gold tone, like vintage chain. And it's starting bid, it's $3.
Uh, as you can see, the chain is super thick. It has like multiple loops on each little part and it has the clasp up here and a little bit of drop length. Is it the starting bit a dollar? Uh, $3. Three. Okay. It's basically the chain's a good chain to craft with. Yeah. I just added this pendant on here so it has something. Hey, Laura. Is that a stone? No, it's plastic. Ah. It's just so the chain has something to dangle from them. How long is it? Whoa. Do what? Oh my God. Siri just turned herself on and told me, wow, we. <laughs> yeah. Go away, oh, Siri. And she's still open. I don't like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm in Louisiana. And if there's no interest, we can pass to Miranda. And then I can exit Siri. You mean Gina? Gina, yeah. <laughs> All right, I have some necklaces again. Dollar starting bid, your choice. Dollar start, your choice. You got a little mixture here of some stuff. The top one is a glass pendant. Pull it off. What was the starting bid, dollar? Yep, one dollar. So the first one is a glass pendant necklace it has a black cord not sure if it's leather i'm guessing no gold tone and it might be homemade oh wow the back. that is interesting monkey and rc is it just like um uh, resin? It's glass. Oh, yep. Well, hey, Ida. Thank you. Yep, this is glass pendant. And then the second one is a silver tone. It's got some weight to it. It's basically like these links, but they're all just intertwined. That is so chain mail right there. <laughs> <laughs> Elegant chain mail. <laughs> is there any other interest in the necklaces number three is gold tone oh. kind, of, kind of bronzy and then it has like these roses with like enamel i think they're enamel roses i go down it it's three tiered and there, there's two roses, one on each side, asymmetrical. There's a black rose on this side and a white rose on the other. That's awesome. Last number three. Number two, heavy. And number one is the glass pendant. Looks like a monkey homemade. Or artisan made. So they did a great mm -hmm. job. Very. Oh. Oh. All right. If there's no other interest, I'm going to go ahead and call this to Ida. <laughs> Ed, no, I don't have a machine gun cigarette lighter. <laughs> <laughs>
That's funny though. <laughs> that would be really cool. I had a little like gun lighter years ago. Last chance, I'm going to sell this to Ida. All right, sold to Ida for a dollar. Thank you, Ida. Which one or ones were you interested in? The glass one. You got it. Thank you. Hey, All right, my second item is going to be, I think, what is a glass arrowhead. Uh, $3 start. That looks like real rock. I don't even know if this is, like, real. I don't know. It looks real. Does it? Yeah. It's very shiny, like, glass. Uh-huh. I don't... Do they make it out of glass? No. It's just... What depends is how the polish is. It, it, if it's not glass and it is real, wow. Wow what? It's <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm like in an area where arrowheads are common, you know, commonly um, seen if you can find them. Riverbanks, creek beds, Whatever, you know, usually. Yeah. And yeah, it's pretty. Very cool. Yeah, I've never found one out in the wild. It's really cool. I live in a an area rich in history with Native Americans as mm -hmm. well. What was the starting bid on that? Uh, Three dollars. That would be so awesome to wire wrap that. Make yeah. it a or just use a leather, you know. Yeah, I like the leather look with these. Yep, that'd be mm -hmm. cool. I forgot I even had it. I just came across it. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, my husband. He's he had a couple. Yeah. Um, his dad had like a whole uh, picture frame. A big picture frame full of different arrowheads from different places. That's a cool way to display them. That's cool. Mm-hmm. And he, Oklahoma is one of the good places to find stuff like that. Any interest in the arrowhead? <laughs> Add the twenty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Crystal. Been on three hours. Hi, Crystal. Hey, Crystal. All right. You told me you had one to sell. Oh. <laughs> that was my two. All righty. I got some silver. But I don't know if anybody wants it. We'll find out. So I literally have two pieces of silver right now. I can find it. Here it is. One of them is um, a little up, so I'm going to sell it for $8. It looks like this. And it just needs, like, bent out. 
Seven. Size seven. So eight dollars for the size seven. And this one is a size nine. And it was like a spoon, I guess. I don't know. I tested it and it tested silver. This is the size nine, and the size nine is twenty. So either put eight dollars or twenty dollars, and that'll claim one of the rings. I think it's something else. Oh, so that was. So there's the choice bite now for number one. Does anybody want either one of those uh, rings? Eight dollars for the size seven or twenty for the size nine. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think how should I word it because it's still there. <laughs> but yeah. Ow. Ow. All right, we'll pass on those guys. I really like that one that's the silverware. <laughs> it's really, it's really cute and nice, but. It's probably an acquired taste. All right, so I'm gonna sell these YSL earrings. They are, uh, they're a gold tone with like a blue glass. And I don't, I didn't test them for gold or anything. They're not marked, they're just marked YSL. And these are a $10 start. That uh, one that's the uh, spoon or fork handle, whatever, you should put up on um, Poshmark, definitely. Clean it up, make it really shiny, put it on Poshmark. I'm trying to show you how big this area is, but I can't find my hole. And definitely use... Um, Found it. There we go. Use cottage core in the keyword. I've never listed, I've never sold any silver. Really? Yeah. I saw it on one. Well, why don't you go ahead and list it and see what happens? Because you might have a better chance selling it for a little bit higher price. Hey, Patty. Hi, Patty. Hey, Patty. <laughs> Yeah, you sailing around. Why so? So does anybody want to come in at ten dollars for this uh, for these YSL earrings? Which, if you didn't know, YSL stands for East Saint Laurent. They're also marked on this. Too. There's East Saint Laurent on here, and then they're marked YSL on the earring. They're a gold color. I did not test for gold. I can if you want me to. And then it's like a blue glass. Thanks, Patty. I just want to be cute. <laughs> it's fun. Then I can like get it out of my way if I need to. And I can put up a double ponytail, which is like my favorite thing. But I'm going to the mini squad. And I'm going out the course and trying to find some cool shit. I have three places on my list I'm going tomorrow. I'm going to pass on the YSL earrings if someone says they want them later or they want to email me about it. That's my email. Email me. And let me take a turn. And how long are you guys going to go to that, buddy? I'm Ray. I'm, I'm good. As long whenever. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. As usual. Okay. These are all the guys. Jesus, I think seven and a half. Let me double check. Nope, they're all size seven. 
And they are $2 a piece choice, starting bid. This is a rose gold with um, little inset rhinestone diamond-y looking things. This one's just a solid gold band. These two are gold bands with some kind of green faux stone on them. These are all Avon rings, by the way. And this last one here is silver tone with little inset like How cubic zirconias or rhinestones or something. How much was the start? Two dollars choice. Okay, Patty Paul. I just <laughs> and so if you wanted all five of them, that'd be like ten bucks if we get at math. So this is number one is the rose gold. Number two is the plain gold band. Number three, we have two of, and they're the green stone on the gold band. And number four is the um, silver tone. It's kind of a thicker band and it has a bunch of bling on it. I like this back the stone one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Aiden. And thank you, Patty Bog. Get off. Go up there. Oh, ow. All right. If you want, we can start calling it the Patty. And Patty, just let me know which one or one you want. And again, one, two, three, and four. All of them got you, ma'am. Thank you very much. And then next up, I have choice. Two dollars start, and these two on my ring finger are going to be a size six and a quarter. And there's a red with a white stone and a green with a white stone, so like garnet and emerald. The red's great for Valentine's Day, green St. Patty's Day, and then you could stack them for Christmas. Um, this is like a brown, some kind of brown stone on a gold tone band. These are on a gold phone band as well. And then I have, this is a sizable ring, so you can adjust what size it is. It, it has green stones that are pin set. And it's the same start, um, Christy. And this is a sizable one. And they're also pin set. And like some kind of red, reddish looking stone. So six and a quarter, six and a half, and these are sizable.
Any other interests? I can't, so I'm gonna call it Patty. And thank you, Patty. Just let me know which one or ones you are interested in. Well, Patty for two. <clears throat> so you've got one. Three, and then we'll do four and five. Got you, love. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Wait. <laughs> There's a red and white pin set and a green and white pin set. I think you mean these two. Just type yes if I am correct. I think you would have said something if you weren't the stone ones. Um, and then you can throw it over to Gina. Got you, Patty Paw. Thank you. That was my two. All right. If anyone wants to see any silver towers, let me know. I can show them my screen. I have a lot of towers. I have uh, Tiger's Eye, White Hololite, Green Aventurine, Strawberry Quartz, Fire Quartz, Blue Aventurine, a big Amethyst Tower for 28, uh, Kumbaba Jasper, Obsidian, Ore Quartz, Flower Agate, possibly more. Just let me know and I'll show it on my second turn. Um, but I'm going to start off with these bracelets. Uh, they are $2 start, your choice. $2 start, your choice. Really pretty, really well made green seed bead bracelet. No cans tonight, Ed, sorry. Beautifully made, perfect condition. And then a mixed stone bracelet, adjustable. Cool. And it says Mala Mantra on the hang tag. And like a, a cross. So on here there's Onyx, Pyrite, Clear Quartz, Side Hololite, Tiger's Eye, Amethyst. Formulated quartz, perhaps. More, not rose quartz. Sorolite. Banded agate. Possibly blue of entry. More pyrite. More clear quartz. Amy, that's what we I also have a, I got another um, carved pool ball in today, a red number three with a skull carved in it. They're 22. And Ed, did you see those silver rings I have? I only have two left, my bro. My bro, man. Uh, Amy, I don't know if I'm tomorrow. I'm not. Tomorrow I'm off. I'm going to go sourcing, trying to get some more stuff for you guys. That way, tonight, well, tonight don't happen when my hand is up my butt, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I also had a pair of YSL earrings if you missed those two. I don't have any tanzanite. I don't think. What's tanzanite look like? It's blue. Beautiful blue. 
below. Um, hey, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, no. I was explaining I have lots of stone towers if you are interested in me showing anything from green event screen, white hollow lights, strawberry course, fire course, blue event screen, big amethyst tower for 28, uh, bunk obsidian towers, or quartz towers, tiger's light towers, flower agate, and baba jasper. Is she just frozen for me? Hey, I'm gonna be right back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, you're, no, you're not frozen. Okay, you're talking about all this shit. I thought you were showing it. I'm like, she just. No, she I'm not. <laughs> There's too much to show, so I just want to tell you what I have, but if they would like me to show any of it. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth. How's the hubs? How did it go with your husband? With your boo? Is he okay? I know that was yesterday, I think, or maybe the day before. I think it was yesterday, because the day before that was Sunday. So let me know how that went. Yes, yes. forgot about that. Um, okay. Hi. Hey, Sally. Yeah. Sally's here too. Hi. Hey, Sally. I want to show this to Ida for two. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Sally is looking for fire quartz and moss agate. I have some fire quartz. Got her only spine. That's so good to hear, Elizabeth. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for, awesome. for telling me. Yes. What fire quartz do you have? I've got two spheres. I have small towers. I got more towers. Oh, yeah. I don't know where you got those from, but those are really cool. I know Sally already got one the other week. Ida wants the stone one, please. Um, Thank you, Ida. If nobody else wants to see these ones, can you throw it in my stuff? The other one? Yes. Yeah. You got it. Thank you. I got, I got another moss I get moon in, and it's really pretty. <laughs> How many moss agate moons do you need? All of them. <laughs> oh, and Sally, I have all those two for seven towers. I didn't know if you wanted to see them all or not. Oops. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. I have little mini super seven towers too. Oh, thank you, Mandy. Oh. That's your info. Oh, oh my god. I'm throwing amethyst all over the place. What's ameth amethyst comms too? I'm gonna be so calm. I'm not gonna know what to do with myself. <laughs> oh, oh. All right. Well, for my second turn, I'll show uh, the two fire quartz I have, and then I'll show amethyst on the next one. Someone might be interested in that. Okay. So I got some new fire quartz towers. These are twenty dollars again. Twenty dollars, your choice. Buy it now. They are a little different. This one has a lot of that milkiness going on in there. Still lots of red. Right up the top. Oh. Top there. And then the other one is more more like red, less milkiness. So much to look at in these both. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. You know we'll keep them in our in our prayers, Elizabeth. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We're a family, although dysfunctional, we are a family. Can you just shine different colors right now? Uh, no, I'm just I'm just showing the fire quartz. They're twenty dollars. Okay. Just the fire quartz this turn. Two to choose from. Twenty dollars. Oh. And this one has like a little extra little carved area at the bottom like they do that sometimes. I don't understand why. Sally sent you twenty. Thank you, Sally. And Elizabeth, we're giving you big hugs. Can you feel it? I'm hugging you. Yes. <laughs> it Was it starting to oh. just buy it now? It's just to buy it now. Okay. Okay. So Sally's got it for 20. All right. Thank you, Sally. 
which one were you interested in? This one is more milky and this one is more red. Man, that sparkle when you turn it, it's like blinding. Yeah, these are stunning. There's oh, so much to look at within the light. Hey, if you cry, we can we can all cry together. It's okay. Sally wants the milky one. You got it, Sally. Thank you. <laughs> and if anyone else is interested in the other one, just let me know. Ed's got the eyes. I don't know what they're for, though. Ed, what you looking at? <laughs> Did you see the silver? Do I have to show it again? I can. If anyone wants the other tower from Gina, tell her, okay? If you don't, tell her. Thank you. This is what I'm doing. I'm funneling chips into little bags. I feel like a chemist. <laughs> I really do. It's quite interesting. I overfill it a little bit, though. I basically am filling the bags up as much as I can. And I'm doing math to see what the lowest I can take for them is. So I'll make a little bag of... Little bag of stony babies, very pretty. Okay, what do you, what do you want, Lucy? You tell me, me and Don Miranda, and I tell you back. My back hurts. I don't know why I'm dancing. It's fine. So, Sally, did you want to see my fire court spheres and or do you want to see the Super 7 Towers and or do you want to see the Moss Agate Moons? If not, type no for me. Be a peach. And then, Ed, did you see the silver rings? Are you interested? <laughs> type no if you're not. One of them's 8, one of them's 20. And then I also have the pair of YSL earrings, which is East Sailoron. Also type no if you don't want that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Super seven. All right. I actually have quite a few of these still. I'm surprised more people weren't like, oh my God, because they're so pretty. Maybe not, you know, that dramatically, but you know, you know what's up. Sally, have you seen Baby Yoda? I don't know if you have, but here he is. Little Grogu. This one's 55. He's the biggest one that I have. So, and then I have to find this. So if anyone wants a big glass sphere, sphere holder, these are $6. Um, and I have two available. And if anyone wants a wooden sphere holder, these ones are $6 as well. I have three of these available. Okay. Now I show towers. Did I put those on right? Okay. What am I doing? Super seven. This one's twenty two. I feel like you're so far away. I gotta move a little bit. This one's twenty two. This one's twenty. That one's got some cool phantom stuff going on. This one is 16. This one has a ton of amethyst in it. This one's also 16. So if you want this one, put 16.2 for this one. Don't worry, I bill at the end of the month. And Elizabeth, I'm not much on Star Wars either, but I really like Mandalorian. I just don't like Star Wars. This one, 10. 
Well, I had four Baby Yodas, and I sold two, and I've kept one. This one has a really dark point, a $10 one. And I didn't know. This one's $8. I don't know how well I'm going. It looks like it's not. And then these last two are $6. This will be... 6.1 which has a big inclusion right here could be even fall damage i don't know and then this one is 6.2 which mostly looks like it's sally wants to see the 22 one again this big game And it has like an inclusion or a little chip taken out of it right there as well. My hand itchy. Sally wants the taunter. Got it, babes. Anybody interested in any of the other ones? Yes. No. No. Okay. The center of my hand is like everybody think about it. I've dropped a whole lot of things today. It's great. All right, I gotta stand up to show you the spheres real quick. No. Dude, did you see my huge towers? <laughs> oh, I keep showing everyone them because I'm like very happy to have them. I'm just going to scratch the top of my hand with that. Gently. Zigota big. Okay. Tape. Hmm. So, I've got a little one and a big one, and I have no idea their price. Let's open this up. So, this one is 12. This little one. And then this bigger one, this bigger one is So 12 and 28. Hi, kitty. What are you doing? Are you napping? My kitty's napping. You want to see my cat? Look, hang on, hang on. I'm going to show you my cat. You're going to be blinded for just a second. Relax. It's fine. Kitty. <laughs> Ducky, kitty. Hi, honey. Aw. Say hi, honey. Hey, look up. Hey. Hey. Kitty, kitty, meow, meow. Yeah, now you look, little munchkin. All right, any interest in either one of those? Did you miss the dragon blood spheres? I had, uh, I've got some mini ones, but I don't have any big ones anymore. Sorry, I'm fixing my camera. Hi, peekaboo. I do have golden healer flames. I only have one left, actually, because man, man, Mangy just bought one. And then this is the biggest golden healer sphere I have, and this one's 30. And then the flame I have left is the lighter one, and that one's 75. And then let's turn away to quartz. Um, 
petrified wood and I don't know what the hell that is. That's a mystery is what that is. And I only have one piece of orange selenite left. I only had two pieces to begin with. This piece is 20. Man, Manji got the big piece of it. And then the only other spears I have, I have these guys, which... Ooh. No, that didn't break. It's pretty strong. Hang on. What are these called? Gina, talk to me. Everyone's being so quiet. <laughs> Hello. Hi, our life and colors. I'm trying to figure it out. Subterian. I have some Subterian spheres. Our life and colors, all stones are healing stones. Oh, I love Subterian. Do you really? Yes. Well, I got them on sale, so this big one's ten bucks. I've got three of them, and they're all they're all only ten dollars. What? <laughs> yeah, they're having a, a great deal. Any more Subterian spear? I got three of them. So, is it a pass on the fire quartz? No one's reading me the chat, and I don't know what's happening. Hang on. <laughs> so, everyone wants a Subterian. Um. The Golden Healer? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, goodness gracious. Hang on, guys. Me too. Hang on. Gina wanted the $10. Hang on. Okay. So, it's a pass on the fire cords, right? Looks like it. Okay. And then the second thing that was talked about was the golden healer. So I have three spheres of the golden healer. This one is thirty dollars, and it's the name the name is the golden healer. But also have a particular um thing that helps you heal. It's the same. We're all part of the same. And then it's like a huge piece of it. Okay, um, which one were you showing where everybody wanted it? I'll show that after this. I'm going in order of what is, what, what's in the chat. Relax, guys. This is a golden healer flame I have, and it's $75, and it's almost two pounds. It sounds okay to me, really. I could have been in a Sorry, I had to go get my... Not do zero open and answer. And One thing at a time. So that's this guy. Okay. So, if you want Golden Healer, but you don't want it at that big of a price, the smallest spear I have was 12. So, if you want a little spear of it, that's 12. Now, Everyone wants to get to Alright. I'm going to show you the three I have. And I'm going to let you start the dip pen. And one is bigger than the other ones. Um, please don't break. And then whoever wins can pick which one they want to break. So, if we're done. Miranda, wait. What? My heart is doing... My, 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 hang on. You talk to the chat and ask, ask them what's going on. I gotta find this. Someone wants a small golden healer. Mandy. Or he said Maria wants it. Did you already show that one? Okay. Uh, All right, we're going back. We're going back. I've paused. What's happening? Yeah, you're going too fast, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stopping. Okay, our life and colors is Maria. I'm sorry. So it says Maria wants a small golden healer. Okay. Got it. Sorry, Christy. <laughs> no, it's, I'm just kind of out of it right now. I'm starting to get really tired. No. Oh. So that is this one. 
and it is 12. Just confirm for me that that's okay, and I'll slap your name right on here for you, okay? Oh, you're giving me a panic attack. I wasn't expecting there to be a bunch of people to be like, oh, yeah. Usually everything is like, pass, pass. Oh, that's cute. And then Sally and Gina both want the septarian. Yes. So I am, they're all three look very different. So the only fair way to do it is to show you all three of them. Start it at, we'll have it here. We'll start it at $8. And hopefully you guys will go to at least 10. And then whoever wins gets to pick first. Because otherwise there's no there's no other fair way to do it. So if I do it, put ten, whoever puts $10 in oh. first gets it, Gina's going to win because she's back here with me. Oh. Mom, so. Deals one, two. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hang on. So, Septarian. I need to, what's her name's Our Life and Colors? Maria. Okay, so here. Here. Let me write her name on it. Don't rush me. <laughs> and starting bid is eight. Okay. Yep, let's we'll start the bid at eight dollars and I'm gonna hope you go to ten. But if you don't, I mean that's oh, it's gonna get there. <laughs> we'll be fine, I guess. I'll cry about it a little bit. Okay. I didn't get them for a dollar or anything, but I didn't, um... <laughs> Sally comes right in at 10. <laughs> you haven't even seen them yet. Chill. Don't, you can't bid until I show it. She already, she's already in for 10. <laughs> oh, God. You guys are killing me. And Maria, our life in colors, I already have your info, right? You emailed me? I think she's boxed me before. Sure. I don't know if she, she has a little bit. She, she All right. So here's number one, which is personally my favorite. Because of this. <laughs> and number one is also the smallest. It's also the one I dropped, but it didn't break. So that's number one. Yeah. And then here's number two this one has some natural cracks in it unless someone else dropped it. it wasn't me i did not drop this one and they look it looks like eyeballs well that sounds like pottery this one's number two is this the one where you crack it open and there's a geode inside or is that a different one Different one, I think. And then this one is number three, and it's the biggest. Oh, wow. Interesting, interesting. The Subterian Sphere is actually what I lost in the mail. My package was ripped open. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maria. No, it's okay, Sally. You can go first. Yeah. Is this number one? Maria wants to healing stone. Um, so are you referring to, so sometimes Golden Healer is called Yellow Fire Quartz. I have Red Fire Quartz, if that's what you mean, and this one's 12 too. So just let tell me yes or no for that guy. And Monty, this one's a little bit different. Um, yeah, Mandy never came in for bids. <laughs> well, she says it's number three for eight. This one is not a buy it now. It's a little bit different. So you have to actually bid something. And yes. Bid, you know. So, so the the person who bids the highest gets to pick first. So Elizabeth came in at ten, right? Yes. And then Gina's out. Gina's out. Uh, Sally is at eleven fifty. 
Oh, okay. So it's <laughs> so right now the high bid is at eleven fifty with Sally. Yes. And Elizabeth and Gina are out. Yeah. Mangie's in at twelve. They get they get it. Okay. All right, cool. She's the crackers. No, confusing, I know. <laughs> so yeah, so highest bid gets to pick whether they want one, two, or three, or if they want all of them or if they want more than one. Sally's in at twelve twelve dollars and ten cents. <laughs> no, it has to be in fifty cent increments at least, and I usually don't do that. <laughs> you have a rose quartz. A rose quartz yeah. sphere? I do have a rose quartz sphere, but it's big, and I'd have to look to see how much it is. I think it's uh, thirty dollars, roughly thirty, thirty-two. Carrie, Miranda, breathe. <laughs> oh, tell me to breathe, man. I feel like I got stones in my eyeballs. Oh, God. Okay, Sally said, "Oh my gosh, all fifty. So this is the rose quartz one that I have. Whether bidding on other stuff, let me confuse you more. Okay. So that's how big this one is. Price, price comparison, size comparison. That's how small the healers are. If that's what you want to call them. Technically. Oh, I might have. Do I have a little rose quartz in here? Yeah, that's what I have. I actually might have a, a smaller rose quartz. We'll just put those in my pocket. I've got some small smokies too. It's okay, Maria. You're not the only one. You said she liked it, but she's expensive. That's my hair. Okay, so I do actually have a smaller rose quartz one. Oh, don't fall. This one's six dollars. Get out of my pocket. I think it's the only little one I have. And then I've got all this citrine. Citrine. Here's the little uh, little rose one I have. Little rose quartz. Oh wow! Sally's in at thirteen fifty. Oh, she's in at twelve fifty. I'm doing a dance. All right, Sally. It's, no, this, it's, it's pink. I have a really, really, really bright light on us right now. Is there anything you can this put a back behind pink. it? I could put clear cores next to it. Okay, that shows it's more flesh tone compared to the other, the tower. So it is pink. Yep. It's pink. How much? $6. Rainbow. Yeah. I think getting rid of this clear quartz is going to be really hard for me. Okay. Uh, Dude, look at the inside of that thing. Yeah. Maria said she'll take it, please. You got it. Okay, let mom do choose first if she wants to. That's what Sally says. <laughs> All right, girl, one, two, or three. You want number three, right? She's being super extra nice. <laughs> she wants number three, right? Yeah. All yeah. right, Maria, I got you down for your rose quartz. And I got Mangie down for number three. So who picks next? Okay, Sally, which other one do you want? Do you want one or two? What was, what was the winning bid? 1350? Yes. Wow. Hey, it's over 10, so I can't complain, right? It was, uh, <laughs> Sally, you know, what, but. She said, go ahead and just let Mandy go ahead and pick first. So that was nice. And Maria says, I want the small rose quartz. 
I think that's what you Yep, I got her. Yeah. I got you down, girl. Don't worry. Sally said, show me again. I forgot the first and second. Number one is my favorite with that on there. Yeah. And number two is like the eyeballs. Oh, wow. Number one. For Sally? Yep. Gina, you want number two? Yes, please. Yep, thank you. Yeah, I'll take those back over. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I would have known that it was more popular, I would have gotten one. They're very interesting looking and very vintage looking. They're, I well, think they're weird. I actually might have more coming. I don't think I do, though. They look like pottery instead of stone. Like vintage pottery. But they're stone. They're actually a fossil. Huh? It's a fossil? Yeah, it's a fossil. That's why they're okay. weird. Check out that. Ooh. That is yeah, this is a smaller one, but I've got OJ Toms. There was one that I wanted to show you. I'm, I'm done selling. I just wanted to show you this real quick. Okay. Here it is. Look at that Druzy. Wow. Oh, wow. Right? OJ's got a mouth. All right, Lucid. I'm sorry I took a million years. Here you go. Are you awake? <laughs> yeah, I was like somewhere else. Um, I'm sorry. No, it's all good. Next up, I have a choice of three ninety-five marked and tested sterling silver bracelets, and these are going to be a choice starting bid of ten dollars. The first one I have here is like a ball bead bracelet it has a little clasp on it the next one i have is this brighton um bracelet it's got its little heart and its clasp and then lastly i have the snake chain bracelet and it's also got a little clasp so yeah choice of one Two or three starting bid ten dollars. Anybody is interested? Thank you for your bid, Ida. Hi, Ida's in for ten. Is there any other interest in these bracelets? I gotta let my dogs out. Holler when I need to change it to Gina, okay? Okay. And both of you go ahead and do four turns since I, you know. I got I got distracted. All right, I'll go ahead and Ida. Just let me know which one or ones you're interested in. All right, last chance. I'm gonna sell it to Ida. 
she wants one. All right, that's a good choice. Thank you, Ida. Um, next up, I have a $3 start choice. These are little like coin pouches, makeup pouches, jewelry pouches, whichever you want. They were all new with tags except for this one, which just now lost its tag. And it's a little polar bear um, bag. And he's got a pink, yellow, or gray nose. I have the blue iridescent heart. And it's got the like pink sheen going on. And then I have the black rainbow, which is um, got a little, you know, hook style on these two and then this one's just got the zipper and lost its tag so yeah I guess if the polar bear doesn't sell tonight, he'll just become mine because his little tag fell off. And he kind of zips open halfway down one side. And they're all just little black bags on the inside. This one kind of has a thing so it doesn't split all the way open. And this one, little rainbow. It is cute. It looks like Mario World for some reason. And if there's no interest, we can pass on that. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got. I have this tested um, and marked sterling silver chain with a dragonfly pendant. And the pendant is marked 925 as well. It's going to be a starting bid of $12. I know there's a lot of people that love dragonflies. She's got a sterling silver one. I'm sorry, can you say that again? I was deaf. I said, I know there's a lot of people that love dragonflies, and she's got a sterling silver one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Patty. Patty's in for 12. How long is the chain? Mm -hmm. Hello. I actually have a measuring pencil. It is about eight and a half to so 16, 17 inches from end to end. Okay. And it's got the little round lobster claw clasp with the little 95 ring on there and I did test this it's very bright Is there any other interest in the dragonfly? Mm. 
NASA say they're messengers from the dead. Yeah, after my uncle passed, I saw dragonflies everywhere. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. This is your last chance. So I can support Patty. Thank you, Patty. And then... Thank you very much. My fourth item is going to be a pair of 95 <laughs> Sterling silver earrings. They have a little black piece in the center. I'm not sure if it's a stone or not, but it is prong set. You can see it on the back side. Um, and they're a cute little pair. And how much is the start? A uh, $10 start. Lord, at least I thought they, let me not lie to you. I thought they were marked, but I did test them. Oh no, they're marked in the corner. Okay. Any interest in the sterling silver earrings? On the cheap sterling clip on, but it's just a single. But I wanted to share it. I think it's pretty. And we can buy okay. Miranda! Regina, because it's her turn. Yeah. Let us go. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right. Oh, I was going to ask if we're just going for about four hours tonight. Oh, okay. I have some rainbow fluorite towers. Um, there are three tiers. So just uh, if you're interested, just put the amount. They're, they're going to be 15, 10, and 8. 15, 10, 8. This is a $15 one. It does have a little the natural little hole there. You said eight, 10, and 12? 15, 10, and 8. 15. Okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> this is a $15 one. This is the biggest. Okay. This is a $10 one. Oh, and they all have inclusions in them. Well, actually, yeah, I mean, some. Let me please see the smaller ones. There's like some dark inclusions in there. So mm -hmm. this is the ten dollar one. Not cool. And it has like these like uh, root looking. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
And then here's the $8 one. And this has a big obvious inclusion in there. And, and, yep, and some flash down there at the bottom. So that's the $8 one. Ten dollar one and fifteen dollar one. Well, wow, don't get so many layers to it. Yep, things to look at. I want to see if I can show the roots close up. Sally wants the $10. Awesome. Thank you, Sally. This is it right here. I just wanted to show you up close to what root thing going on in there. Thank you, Sally. And you can find stones that are very unique. I know, I love that about these. Thank you, Sally. And then we still have the 15 and the $8 one. If anyone wants to this. Okay, next I'm going to show the big amethyst tower I have. Now it does have a slight lean when it's standing. Just FYI, in case you're OCD about that. But this is a large chevron amethyst tower. It is $28 starting bid. And I'll tell you how tall it is. <laughs> it is just about four and three quarters tall. And it is a chunker. Thick. That is awesome. This is it compared to the biggest fluorite. Wow. <laughs> I know it's not a cheap addiction. This has um, some really pretty uh, parts where there's some flash, like right there. Wow. Nice dark amethyst. Piece of mine, mine. Oh, um, awesome, Sally. <laughs> My mind is killing me. Oh, boy. That's so good, Angie. <laughs> All right, so that guy is 28. If anyone's interested, just let me know. You don't have to write this in. I just wanted to remind that I still yeah. have the uh, red skull, $22 carved real pool ball with a skull carved into it. Number three, red. My husband would have loved that one. Like, he would have snatched it up right away. Really? <laughs> yeah, because red was his favorite color and he yeah. loved gold. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'll show the I'll do these aura quartz next. Um, 
One is 13 and one will be 11. 13 and 11, aura quartz. Angel aura, sorry, angel aura. Oh. Twelve and thirteen. Thirteen and eleven. Thirteen. Okay. Yep. This is the thirteen dollar one. Sally, I uh, sold the owl ones the other day. I do have another one or two on the way though. I don't remember what numbers they are. So these are one of my favorites. This is. The one I have of these is one of my favorite towers. I just love how iridescent they are. I'm, just, well, I'm surprised if Jonathan was lurking if he didn't just, you know, snatch that up. I know, right? I don't even think he saw them. This is a uh, this this possesses the same uh, healing qualities as a crystal quartz, which is basically for anything and everything, healing wise, um, clarity, um, connecting with the higher realms, opening the third eye and crown chakras. Never have too much clear quartz, in my opinion. So that's the $13 one, and then the $11 one. Awesome. That one looks cool. Yeah, it has a lot going on inside. Mm-hmm. There's lots of flashes in these, two. Are these in for 13 Awesome. Thanks, Patty. You got the big guy. Yep. Well, it's, these are, yeah, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I still have the $11 one if anyone is interested. I like Gosh. the short fat ones too, Patty. <laughs> Little chunkers. Okay, uh, next I'm going to show this uh, pink tourmaline sphere that I have. It's the last one I have. Pink tourmaline sphere. This is an $18. Uh, buy it now. $18. Buy it now. Patty likes a chunker. <laughs> Oh, that's okay, Sally. I understand. Not everyone's a skull person. Oh, Mangie's in. Thank you, Mangie. It is all yours. Thank you, Mangie. Was that my third or fourth? I don't remember. I can't remember either. I done not either. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Gold ups or golden? Wow, I can't talk. Gold obsidian, gold sheen obsidian moons. Come on, Gina. Use your words. <laughs> Manjin <laughs> said that um, they'll take the 28 one. I think it was 28. You want the big oh, amethyst? Yeah. You got it. Thank you. Okay.
Good to have more stones. <laughs> I still have tons of towers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess I have one more. Gold Sheen Obsidian Moons. Uh, you're by it now. Uh, one's 12, one's 10. All right, so I have these. If anyone's interested, just let me know. Okay. All right. I have a special treat for you guys. It's the last egg I'm showing. Okay. I have created. Hello, oh, you're down there. I created your own chakra set, but it's not a typical chakra set. It is a chakra set, and then it also comes with a selenite stick for you to recharge your stone. And it also comes with a piece of yellow jade which promotes emotional peace, love, and balanced relationships. This is what it looks like. I have created this little card. It tells you what each stone is and its respective chakra and its color. Here we have all the stones and the selenite stick up here. Now, if you're new to chakra, you can look up for those. Let me call you. The root chakra is at the base of the spine in the tailbone area and its color is red. It is used for physical identity, stability, and grounding. The sacral chakra is the neck that is just below the belly button just above the pubic bone. It is typically orange and it is used for sexuality, pleasure, underwater. And I am underwater. That's freaking great. I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Do I have to throw it over? Hmm? Should I start over? Yeah. I okay. Will. So, I've created a chakra set, but it is not a typical chakra set. I've also printed out this piece of paper. It says each stone that's in here and its respective chakra and its color so that it's easier to identi identify what is what. Now, you get the seven each chakra sets, and then you also get yellow jade. Now, yellow jade promotes emotional peace, love, and balanced relationship. And I figured everybody could be a little bit of that. I am so sorry to tell you this, Miranda, but it is happening still again. What? It is happening again. Like, really bad? Yeah. It, it was, no. and you got really close. Yeah, like, you were fine, and then it got worse again. All right, well, I'm going to put my mic on. People but still can't understand you. <laughs> yes, they will. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Type in the chat if you can hear me. Oh, man. I think you should really keep that far away from your mouth. <laughs> Way too close. Yeah, too loud. Go to light, Michelle, that's the stone, hello. This is too loud? Yes. Girl. Yes, they're crying. Okay, <laughs> how's this? <laughs> so if I talk like this, is this okay? That's much better. Okay. Now, let me start over. <laughs> I have created a okay. chakra set, but it is not a typical chakra set. It has, it's a seven piece chakra set, set plus you get a selenite stick and the selenite stick is um, to recharge your stones. 
It doesn't need to be recharged itself. It's a very, very, very powerful. And I've included Yellow Jade. Yellow Jade promotes emotional peace, love, and balanced relationships, which I figured we could all use. Now, here's what it looks like on here. It says, it's hard to hold this and the mic. <laughs> oh, good grief. They, anyways, on here it says the stone, what chakra it's a part of, what yellow jade is and its respective color. That way it's easy for anyone to identify what stone is what. Now, if you are unfamiliar with chakras, I'm going to tell you what they are. <sighs> The root chakra is at the base of the spine in the tailbone area. It is red, and it promotes physical identity, stability, and grounding. Next will be the sacral chakra, which is just below the belly button, just above the pubic bone. It is typically orange. It promotes sexuality, pleasure, and creativity. The next one is the solar plexus. It is the upper abdomen in the stomach area. It is yellow, and it promotes self-esteem and confidence. Next, we have the heart chakra, which is in the center of the chest. It is green, and it promotes love and compassion, or that's, you know, that's what it helps you with. Next is the throat chakra, which is in the throat. It is blue, and it is for communication. Then you have the third eye chakra, which is indigo, between the eyes on the forehead, and it's also known as the brow chakra, and it helps with intuition and imagination and introspection and stuff. And then we have the crown chakra, which is the last. It is on the top of the head. It is violet or white, and it helps with awareness and intelligence. Okay. Now, the stones that are included in this kit are rose quartz for your heart chakra, amethyst, which you can choose to use for your third eye or your crown, labradorite, which is for your third eye, Lapis lazuli for the throat, yellow jade because it helps with balancing relationships and such. And then we have mukite for your solar plexus, snowflake obsidian for your root, and tiger eye for your sacral. They're $12 each. If you want one, let me know. I only have five or six and I can make more, but I cannot make a complete set of seven um, that is this genuine to a chakra set. I can make you one that's seven different colors, but the stones aren't gonna correlate to seven different chakras. So that's up to you. If you want one, tell me you want one or put $12 in the chat. Now I'm gonna take this off so I can hear my friends. Okay. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> All right, how does it Hello? Wow. Okay, so Do you can you hear me? Hello? Now I can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That was a mess. <laughs> All right, so who, hang on. Oh my God. That's heavy. All right, so who wants one? Okay. Hey, Carolyn. Um, Beck wants one. Nancy wants one. Nancy was yeah. Hang on. So I got Beck, Nancy, Manji. Carolyn Gambrel. Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn. <laughs> Our life in colors. She wants one too? Mm -hmm. I'm moving up so I could see. <laughs> okay. Well, not too much. This is a good, good starter kit for anyone who wants to get into chakras or for anyone um, oh geez, that wants just to have like a nice collection of stones. If I was to sell these individually, 
uh, I think it's like a twenty-two-ish dollars. So, you don't want one? Okay. Oh, you put you put sold up above. She decided she doth not want. <laughs> Okay, I thought I was starting off. Uh, start from back to twelve dollars or up above that. It goes way up. It starts with Mangy saying want. And your tiger's eye is either going to come in a moon or in a sphere. And then snowflakes in a tumble, everything else is cubes, and then you're selenite. Okay. Uh, the yes, like no. So snowflake obsidian is a root chakra. Well, Nancy had a question. What's Nancy say? What's Nancy say? Oh, what do you do with them? That was your Okay, Monty won't. Well, you can meditate with them and you can place them on the different points, the energy points on your body, like when you're laying down. You can lay down, relax, and use the stones in the places <laughs> where they're supposed to be stored. <laughs> Chris said, my root is fine. Thanks. <laughs> okay. um, I know you don't probably really, you know, know much about it, but with like paganism, they have travel altars. Uh, this would be a good travel chakra set. Um, so they people use them in different ways some people place them on your body some people do like just a motion of the stone like over your entire body it really just kind of depends i am not a metaphysical guru so i cannot give you a very good answer google is gonna be your best friend um just google be like hey what do i do with my chakra set and videos will pop up of people teaching you and um and things like that i wish i had more information to give you but i don't twelve dollars okay. not a hundred and twelve well <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Terry wants one too, or no. just answering the question. If you want one now, type sold. <laughs> we like to confuse people, it's fine. But I thought, you know, a lot of people, oh, 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 and the selenite stick, the add extra thing, that was all Lisa's idea. So thank you, Lisa. It, like I said, it makes it easier for that to be a travel chakra set. Terry, you but want one? It will travel. And I do have your info because Lisa had sent it to me. Cool. Yeah, well, they told me to put it in a box, but I don't have a box to put it in for you guys, so you get it back. But I did print out, um, I actually created this. This is what I was doing yesterday, is I created this. So to give you a little bit more information, that way you don't have to research what each stone does. You just kind of have to research how to use them. And on the back of it, it's, it has it has my name. I signed my name. You have my signature. <laughs> okay. So I just need to know, Maria, if you want one. And then if anyone else wants one, tell me. Yes, thank you, Lucid, because the selenite stick was a super great idea. Because I happened to get a bunch of those skinny ones in, and I was like, bro, that's perfect. It's going to be charging your stones while it's on the way to your house, and you can use it to charge the rest of them. You know, like, after you, like every time after you use them, 
you can put them all back in this bag or if you have a box of your own you can put it in there with a stick and charge them up for the next time i got you okay i think we're good oh <laughs> that's okay lucid do you want to show anything else today and Gina, do you want to show anything else today? That's up to you. Uh, you want to know how many are left? I'd have to count. Okay, hang on. So, one, two, three, four, five have been taken. One, two, three, four, five. There's one left. One left. And then, like I said, I can create more, but they're not going to be, you know. Oh, how many stones in the bag? It comes with um, nine. Because you've, you've got the seven for the sock chakra set, and then you have the yellow jade and then selenite. So it's nine pieces. Ten if you include my paper, which you probably shouldn't include. So nine. And I do have one left. So if you want it, it's got your name on it. And I think most of the lab cubes have a flash. I didn't super double check, though. You can't give me a shirt. If you want it, you got to you gotta be excited. You got to be like, yes! You know? There you go. And they're all a little different. What was another good root stone? Hey, Linda. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yay, yes. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> All right, that's it. There's no more. Lucy, did you say you wanted to show some more? Hey, Linda. No, I'm good. Gina, what about you? We can end it. I know Christy's getting tired, too. Well, I can put us all alone here together. Well, hello. <laughs> oh, my God, Linda. I totally feel bad because, like, I had two really cool Western buckles, and I forgot to show you, and Ed got them. Linda, I got another pool ball today. Bye bye. Number three. She got a skull. Number three. <laughs> no one claims them yet. He's 22. That's it. <laughs> Yes, Ed R. Ed. Oh, and I uh, I figured out who had the machine gun lighter. It was Tiffany. I don't know why they. I don't know. Someone must have got you guys confused. Okay, I'll but try. Whatever. What? Sally, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try to find one. Oh. Every owl. Yeah, so Ed went over to Tiffany's to bid on the machine gun lighter, but then he yielded it to Steve. I think he yielded it to Steve. Oh. So he didn't even win it, but he found it. <laughs> Which is good. And I don't know if Ed's still in here. Give it to me, baby. Yeah. Thanks, Carolyn. Yes, the pool ball is awesome. Well, all right, tidies. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it's after midnight. I don't... <laughs> I mean, we could, we could still stay on here, but I don't know what we'd do. I think everyone's pretty tired now. You guys got you too used to me being on it super late at night. Now I just stay up until 4 o'clock working. Okay, tomorrow I'm off. I'm off and I'm going to go get things for you guys. I'm going to find hard goods. And then Thursday, Laura's coming on my channel. Yay. Yay. Love her. And uh, I also think Thursday, I'm going to put out a message in Facebook um, to let everyone know that I'm going to have all of my chips and stuff ready for people who make jewelry uh, when Laura comes on. So I can uh, sell these guys. And I think the little bags, they're a dollar, a dollar fifty, and two dollars. And then I'm not sure how the big ones, how much the big ones are going to be yet. But uh, yeah. So if you make jewelry, I've got a bunch of chips. None of them are drilled, but I do have a bunch of chips. <laughs> so if you know someone who needs it, let them know. I'll have them Thursday. Okay, I'm rambling. I'm leaving now. Goodbye, guys. Thank, Thank you so you much for being here. Don't forget hey, to stay out. Thank you to Lucid and Gina for being beautiful guests. And hey, Linda. Thank you to Christy for mine. Oh, do you do you have any kitties left? Show it to Linda real quick. Linda, yeah. you're, you're getting it. Linda, they're three dollars each. Three dollars each. I got four left. Two red, two rose quartz, two green adventuring. Put me down for a rose quartz, quick. She is let's she's got one rose quartz and two green adventuring. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Linda has to have two rose quartz. I could yield one. She wants all of them. <laughs> Linda, can I have the kitty? If I can't, like if they're gifts for someone, then let me know. <laughs> I'll, I'll concede if you want all of them Linda you can have them all but if I can have one kitty let me have one I feel like I won some of those but maybe I didn't you're right. All right. Give them all to Linda. Okay. I'll find a different kitty. Take them all first. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. <laughs> I don't want small bags. Yes, on Thursday. Um, I'm still separating them right now. So far, I've got the clear quartz, black obsidian, rose quartz, lab, and amethyst sorted. And I still have like 15 other materials to sort. I literally bought every chip that they had. Like every single stone chip that they had available, I bought it. You said you can have one. I'm so confused. <laughs> Alright, well then give give the one I wanted to Terry because he wants an adventure rain one. Yeah, but Okay. Or two. Are you confused now? Harry. <laughs> Linda. Linda. <laughs> Thank you, Cha Cha. <laughs> we want you confused. Are you confused? Yes. Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Okay. So three go to Linda and one eventually goes to Harry. Is that correct? Yeah. Terry, are you a, a lady? Do I call you she, he, or they? He's in thank you. Terry is a woman. Oh, Terry's a lady. Okay, thank you. <laughs> They'll be like, yeah, he wants one. And she'll be like, I'm a chick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. <thank> you guys. <laughs> I'll get some more kitties. I'll get more. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, that's all right, Terry. Get you a kitty cat. Let me look real quick. I think I got some coming because I don't, I don't know. I was looking through some stuff and I think I found some. I didn't know Gina was getting any. We, we find the same thing sometimes, except for she found the pool balls first. <sighs> I'm a little mad about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get her. Just kidding. I'm not gonna get anybody. Um, did I get any? What I get? Oh, I got those. Those aren't cats though. Uh, I got feathers. And I got a fluorite cow, a weird Yoda, my chameleon, a really cool rhino head, a really cool unicorn. The rhino is basically for Beck, and the unicorn is for Michelle. <laughs> I'm working on it, Linda. <laughs> uh, then I got a wolf head coming, a couple Labradorite bears, whatever peacock is, bears. Oh, Beck missed the peens yesterday. Beck can have oh! my wants. Oh, and I got a group. What the hell is that? I don't know what that thing is. That's well, I don't have any cats. I did not win any cats yet. Do you have peens left, Miranda? I, I do. Peens. You want to see some peens? Do you want to see peens? I didn't mean to yell at you. I'm sorry. I yelled and they all muted. Now I feel bad. I just have a really loud voice. Well, I only have four peens. Technically five if Gina wants to give up her lab. But that's only if one of you guys really wants it. Lucid fell out. This is Lapis Lazuli. It is a peen. Or a rocket ship. Pew. These are what were they? They're six bucks, right? So six dollars each. I have a lapis. I have Kesara. Kesara, Kesara, and then I got Unikite. I do. I have beautiful, majestic incense holders coming. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is Mahogany Obsidian. Lucid did leave. She's probably tired. We've been trying to leave for a while. You can charge your peen with a selenite stick. So if anyone wants one, I only have four left. And they're six bucks each. And they're really little. Like, here's a peen on my thumb. They're really hard to get, though. They are? They are. Well, I mean... Well, I mean, they, they cost a lot, basically. Yeah. So. Linda is getting a green bean. <laughs> <gasps> Beck, you're passing? You don't want a peen? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Just send her a little peen. Here is a peen for you. Do you like? I hope you like. <laughs> <laughs> a surprise peen. In her I... What? That'd be funny if you put a surprise peen in her package. Or anyone's package for that matter. Hey, look at my eye. What am I doing? Lana wants the blue one. <laughs> look at my eyes. <laughs> look it out. <laughs> Say it ain't so. I will not go. Turn the lights off and carry me home. Da -na 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 -na. I am not buying any big peens. I refuse. A surprise bean. Beck, would you like a surprise bean? I love Beck. I'd give her a surprise bean. Linda. Mm. And then Lorna wants the what does she want? <laughs> the blue one, the lapis, the lapis peen. 
Now that, that song's in my head now. Thanks so much, guys. I don't want to just be up here by myself, okay? There's more people oh, here. Left. She did. She popped out. She, I don't know. I'm not her keeper. She just left. Want me to call her? She's probably tired. It's pretty late. We've been up like we go up all night and then we stay up all day. <laughs> Lana. There's only two peens left. Oh, I was gonna show I was gonna show oh jeez Louise. I was gonna show him to Laura. I did check private chat. There's nothing in there. Except for Gina LOLing. Lol. <laughs> well, because Chrissy said something funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, here, let me tell her to get back in here. Linda wants her two brooches. The cameo and the elephant. Yeah, I'm surprised no one had nabbed those at the time. It was a slow start. Um, back. Jeez, Louise, I don't know how to spell. <laughs> she did. She screenshotted it. <laughs> um. Yes, she can. She's well. If she hasn't packed it up, hopefully she comes back in and then she can tell us. I'm pretty sure because I had do have stuff coming from her. She could have had to pee. Maybe she had to pee. Lana's right. You right. All right, I need, I know this is a bother, and I hate to ask, but, like, can one more person, like, like the video? That way it's even. I hate uneven numbers. Either someone like it or someone take a like away. I hate it when it's uneven. I don't know why. It, like, it really rustles my feathers. If I had feathers. Speaking of feathers, Christy, I am very, very sorry, and I love you so much. I sent your feathers to Beck. So, Beck's either going to send them back to me or ship them to you. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I love you. We'll, we'll, we'll get it back to you. It was just something else to be artsy fartsy with. I'm off tomorrow. Well, yeah, but you bought them. Like, you paid for it, so it's yours. So I'll pay to have her. I think what I'll probably do is I'll pay to have her send them to me because that'll be easier, and then I can just throw them in your next package. They don't weigh that much. The shipping trip costs like on the day, hopefully. Okay. And I think I'm, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to what? I said if you want to do that here. Of course. And I think I'm gonna have to rethink shipping at the end of the month. What's uneven? I mean, tomorrow is Thursday. Oh, yes. And so Thursday, I'm gonna be on at Thursday. I don't know how you want to be able to hear me. Thursday, I'm going to be on at 7 p.m. Eastern here on my channel with Laura, Dory, etc. I love her very much, and she is very awesome, and I am very, well, I feel fortunate and blessed to know her and get to talk to her and work with her, and it's lovely and wonderful, and, like, she sells stones, too, and it's pretty amazing, and if you haven't met her, you really should, because she's pretty cool. Okay. Well, Lisa didn't come back, but you will let her know when. We'll get you down. We'll give her your PayPal. And hopefully she can just throw them in. Look at my stuff. My nose is so itchy. Okay. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye.